Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38 verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Genesis chapter 1 and verse 26. And Elohim said, Let us make man. So man is the subject here. After our inner image, after our likeness. And let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, the cattle, over the earth, and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created him. Male and female created he them. 28. And God blessed them. And God blessed them. The Bible didn't say, and God discussed or he said to them. Please listen. And God blessed them and said unto them. Some other versions say, and God blessed them, saying. So he routed the blessing through words, but the blessing are not words. The vehicle for communicating them is just a word. He can choose to use any other mechanism. Remember, he's God. And God blessed them and said to them, first instruction, be fruitful and multiply. Not all multiply. Be fruitful. That means fruitfulness is not the same as multiplication. Are we together? When the Bible says something or something, it means either of the two holds the same value. But now he's saying be fruitful. Then in addition to fruitfulness, multiply. And replenish the earth. And subdue it. Then he says have dominion, etc., etc. So tonight we are picking one, be fruitful. And we want the Lord to open our eyes and to understand God's idea of fruitfulness. Colossians chapter 1 verse 9 and 10 praise the lord colossians chapter 1 verse 9 and 10 for this cause we also paul is speaking since the day we heard of it do not cease to pray for you and to desire that ye be filled with the knowledge of his will and in all wisdom and spiritual understanding verse 10 that ye might walk worthy of the lord unto all pleasing being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of god being fruitful not in some in every good work hallelujah so we see from scripture that fruitfulness is a command fruitfulness is a command in fact jesus demonstrated in his own earth work how much he resented on fruitfulness once upon a time the bible tells us that jesus was on his way back and he saw a fig tree and that the tree had green leaves in other words it was attracting his attention but coming to the tree he discovered that there were no figs and jesus not a prophet that is still being renewed not an apostle in the making jesus himself looked at the tree and cursed the tree and said that no fruit will come out of you again and by the next day they came and discovered that it had withered right from the root so god is passionate about fruitfulness are we together please write this down to be fruitful 
means to increase to increase to be fruitful means to be productive fruitfulness entails increase fruitfulness entails productivity fruitfulness entails enlargement and expansion are we together fruitfulness entails evidence evidence you are fruitful to the degree to which your life can produce evidence what evidence evidence of the faithfulness of god evidence of the investment of god upon your life evidence of the supremacy of the word in your life why do we need to be fruitful it's important we know let me just address that because we have a lot to deal with why do i need to be fruitful because you know there are christian circles today well-meaning that think subjects like this should not be the believers should not be bothered with the subject of fruitfulness why because most times when we talk of fruitfulness all they think about is money and physical things they just look at fruitfulness um, in terms of affluence physical and material blessings and then they convince themselves that anyone can live without them and then they assume that all those things are distracting but the bible says we need to be fruitful in every good work every good work every good work are we together why do we need to be fruitful john chapter 15 and verse 8 we'll still make reference to that scripture but please go with me very quickly to john 15. i pray that god opens your eyes to understand this once and for all mm. verse 8 herein is my father glorified when you bear much fruit how is the father glorified when you bear much fruit when you bear much fruit when a man pays the school fees of his son and the son returns back with a report card and says daddy out of 90 students i took number one and my average is 91 i am doing well that child is fruitful that child justifies the investment of the school fees are we together but on the flip side if the child returns back with a report card and is written there need to see the parent and zero from top to bottom is that child fruitful no that the father is angry for many reasons one he's angry because he's the father are we together just being the father alone is enough to upset him the owner of this child that is carrying this shape are we together two because his resources a symbol of his energy was committed into that boy's life so the bible says the father is glorified when we justify his giving us the holy spirit when we justify his giving us his wisdom his favor remember our scripture here that has become an anthem when god makes all grace to abound towards you he expects fruitfulness in other words he in his mind he does not see that there should be an excuse in your life because all grace has been well coordinated towards you if you're with me say amen, amen. the father is glorified when the saints bear fruit all kinds of fruits number two bearing fruit also inspire and encourage you most people do not know that when they bear fruit their, their own spiritual lives also continue to grow spiritual barrenness is very dangerous and barrenness in every regard is dangerous biologically speaking when people experience any kind of barrenness it's not something that is received with gladness it's something that challenges them can even destroy their marriage so we know for sure that any form of barrenness calls for action are we together now yes hearing is my father glorified but then god gives you consolations that my life is producing fruits producing fruits producing fruits the third reason why we need to bear fruits is because 
our fruitfulness is a message to the world that God is true our fruitfulness is a witness that can cause men to believe in God very important John chapter 1 please and verse 6 John chapter 1 John chapter 1 and verse 6 our fruitfulness there was a man sent from God the Bible says whose name was John 7 the Bible says he the same came for a witness what was his assignment to bear witness of the light that through his witness all men might believe so when you are fruitful through your witness men might believe God is depending on men to believe in him but their faith is routed through your results are we together now that means that there is a dimension of my result and your result that has the capability has the ability to make men believe God if it is true that we are passionate about seeing his glory revealed then we must truly desire to be fruitful to the end that men look at our lives the last verse Galatians 1 yes 24 and they glorified God in me Galatians 1 24 and they glorified God not just through me in me and they glorified God not they glorified me and they glorified God in me are we together Gentiles need to see the light the results the evidences of God's hand upon our lives let me tell you something my brothers and my sisters results are a language it is true when you bear fruit even fruit that abides it is a language that speaks to creation about the faithfulness of God it is a language that attracts creation to the one true God the source of all lifting so God is passionate about our bearing fruit mighty God settle it once and for all that god is glorified in my fruitfulness settle it once and for all that god is glorified in my fruitfulness when i am fruitful when i am productive when my life begins to produce evidences that god is glorified let me tell you something about fruitfulness you can say the same thing without fruit and say the same thing with fruit and the impact will be east and west fruitfulness makes your words heavy when you have results your words are worth believing the words of a fruitful man are seldom contended with when people speak from a standpoint of results there is a compelling conviction that it brings to you and so if we want creation to subscribe to this life that we so propose day and night telling them jesus is the way the truth and the life telling them that he is the one who can lift men god is counting on our lives to be able to produce that message and in the name of jesus he will find he will find a real witness in you yeah. be fruitful is a command in the loins of prophecy when god was looking at adam and prophesying he saw joshua selman he saw koinonia and he said be fruitful in other words i forbid barrenness i forbid barrenness i forbid barrenness in your life be fruitful but like every other mystery in the kingdom there are there are we are mandated to understand the spiritual systems like i've always taught you uh, that our results depend upon i've taught you again that between your desire and the manifestation there are spiritual systems that connect them are we together i've told you the prophetic speakings of god that when god speaks he does not speak as though he's talking to a man he speaks as if he's talking to himself and so some factors will not be captured in his speakings it will take the spirit of revelation to break what god has said down so that you now see how you connect to that word 
God can look at you and say, where is the house? And you are sitting down wondering and say, God, who are you talking to? And then he says, I'm talking to myself. You see that? It is the spirit of revelation that will break that down so that you begin to understand that God does not speak like men. Knowing how God speaks is very powerful. And it is a spirit of revelation that can help you and help you understand the communications of God. Are you with me tonight? Yes. So there are mysteries, secrets, principles, you can call them, allocated for fruitfulness. Wishing fruitfulness is a waste of time. Just having a strong desire for fruitfulness is a waste of time. It may be beneficial for a while because at least it can draw you to the secret place where you create the atmosphere for the spirit of revelation. According to Proverbs 18 and verse 1, it says, Desire through desire, a man having separated himself, it says he seeketh and intermeddleth with all wisdom. But that in itself does not make you fruitful. There is a lot of superstition in the body of Christ. Ask the average Christian, do you believe in results, fruitfulness, productivity? He or she will say yes. And then you ask them, how is it going to happen? Then you will hear the variety of ignorance expressed through many well-meaning words. But the bottom line is, I don't know. Some will say Jesus will do it. And it looks very right just because the name of Jesus is in part of that that erroneous statement jesus would do it others would say i will work hard i will do my best we are called to walk circumspectly everybody says circumspectly i told you that in a man's dealings with god creativity is almost not needed it is obedience it is when it has to do with dominion and kingdom legislature that is where your creativity comes the principles that make for your greatness are not left for your guessing they are there listen please when you get this you will stop wasting your time trying to crack your brain to know god trying to crack your brain to get truth no truth is not an idea it's not just the function of the mind you don't reason truth it is revealed there is a body of knowledge allocated for your results are you getting what i'm saying now yes if i have this bottle of water it's already there my assignment is to find it not to try to look for a way of 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 refining water and all of that and and and, and purifying it no it's already there this is how truth is don't think that truth is like many ideas that you crack your brain to just download no it is given and received otherwise it is not there if it is truth then it's not subject to the ideas of men. It's something that comes from God. If you get this, you will be restful. Your assignment is to create the atmosphere for that truth to come. Lord, what are the keys towards my fruitfulness? And you remain there. Waiting like a waiter. And the spirit of revelation comes. And when it comes upon you, the secret... Is revealed he says then the secret was revealed unto Daniel listen every truth in the kingdom is revealed 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 every truth in the kingdom is revealed if it is truth then it was revealed whether the custodian of that truth admits that it was revealed or not the bottom line is that it was revealed so all of the spiritual activities that you go through for truth to come is only preparing the atmosphere for truth to come if the spirit of revelation does not bring you truth my brother and my sister you will end up conjuring sophia human wisdom ideas that cannot stand the test of time you can think ideas you can read books here and there and connect things but truth is revealed are we together And the Lord showed me something very powerful. And that's what I want to share with us. The mystery of fruitfulness is enshrined in a very silent parable that I want us to deal with right now. Hmm. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Luke chapter 8. 
mighty God open our eyes and help us see wherever we stop tonight we'll pray Luke chapter 8 we're reading the first 15 verses look at this we call it the parable of the sower it's not the parable of the sower it's a kingdom mystery hidden in a story and kept only to be revealed by the spirit of revelation just because you read this does not mean you will have an understanding now you can give a theological explanation as to what you think was happening you can even write a book about it but my brothers and my sisters this is sealed until it is open you will never see what is there are we ready now so let's read it came to pass afterwards that he went throughout every city and village jesus now preaching and showing the glad tidings of the kingdom of god and the 12 were with him verse 2 and certain women which had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities mary all of that together they went with him verse 3 um okay so you know the bible is just giving us the setting now of all of this i think it starts from verse 4 and when much people were gathered together and were come to him out of every city he spake but he spake by a parable he communicated but he used a parable to hide the secret what is the parable verse 5 a sower a sower went out to sow his seed follow the story a sower no name he went out to sow his seed so whoever this sower is we know that the sower was desiring fruitfulness are we together nobody just goes to sow seeds just because he feels like throwing seeds so one the sower had seeds number two the sower was a sower are you getting what i'm saying now listen a sower went out to sow his seed and as he sowed it's amazing that everything that happened by the wayside and the rest was called sowing it was not a mistake as he sowed some fell by the wayside listen and it was trodden down and the fowls of the air devoured it two some fell on a rock and as soon as it was sprung up it withered away because it lacked moisture and some fell among thorns and the thorns sprang up with it and choked it and other fell on good ground so we know that they didn't just fall that falling is sowing because even on the good ground it uses the same word so it's not like the seed maybe a bag with holes and then it fell until it got to the good ground no he sowed there is a soil called the wayside and he sowed there and he watched what happened now the first thing we have to be thankful for is that god did not hide the failures of this sower otherwise we would have been deceived about fruitfulness the bible gives us the complete story of the struggles of this sower to the end that we may have a balanced understanding are we still together let's continue our story the bible says an order fell on good ground and it sprang up and bear fruit an hundredfold and when he had said these things he cried jesus started crying imagine that as i'm teaching you now i just finished then i, I pause and i start crying when the Bible says he cried, in many regards, he really cried. It's not just that he lifted his voice loud. He really cried. Why did he cry? He that had ears to hear, let him hear. How can you finish talking to people, my brothers and my sisters? This is Jesus, adult Jesus, not the child learning something in the temple. And you stand and teach people and then start crying. Do you know why? Because we're saying, wow, Jesus, are you this smart? And Jesus said, oh dear. Jesus was revealing through this story what was happening as he was teaching. It was not just something that happened one day alone. He was crying because there was a repetition of that story real time as he was talking. He being the sower. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Yes. Let's go back to verse 5 now. There are certain informations that we really, really need to believe 
and understand about this to help our fruitfulness I, I just thought to explain this parable notice that Jesus was so passionate about this parable he didn't allow any human being to interrupt the interpretation he said I will interpret it myself there are many times he would not interpret certain parables he would just leave them but this one he says so that there is no confusion I will explain and in many times Jesus will leave some details out in explaining a parable but this one every single detail was explained to tell you his level of passion let's go to verse 9 let's finish and then we'll come back to verse 5 go to verse 9 and his disciples asked him saying what might this parable be are we ready now let's hear Jesus interpret his own parable and he said unto you hallelujah it is given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God this is how he started interpretation Jesus interpreted now and I said, leave that matter. The reason why I will interpret this to you is because that thing you see is a coded message. But unto you, it has been given to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But to others in parables that seeing they might not see and hearing they might not understand. Every time the Bible uses hearing twice, the second hearing is understanding. Are we together now? Next verse. Now, the parable is this i love jesus now the parable is this number one the sower the seed is the word of god mm. the seed is what not a business idea we are talking fruitfulness here the seed is not an investment plan listen carefully the seed that produces that harvest is the word of god number two those by the wayside are they. So those soils are people. Listen carefully. People who have hearts. The wayside are people. The rocks, all of that. They, they are different states of people's hearts. Notice, the goal is to produce result. But everything is happening inside a man's heart. It just uses a farm to explain. The entire labor of that fruitfulness is happening within the man, not outside the man. Are we together tonight? It says, those by the wayside are they that hear. Then cometh the devil and taketh away the word out of their hearts. Are we together now? Out of their hearts, not out of their life. He did not touch anything external. He just came into their hearts, removed the seed of the word of God, and left every other idea there. He didn't tamper with their ideas. They didn't tamper with all their plans. He just carried the word factor and left every other thing. And the Bible says, lest they should believe and be saved. They on the rock are they, which when they hear, they receive the word. So they are an improvement to the first set. The set, the first set just heard, but the second set heard and received the word with joy. Remember what the Bible says about joy. It says they fulfill the spiritual law here with joy. And then the Bible says, and these have no root. Which for a while believe, and in time of temptation fall away. Next verse. And that which fell among tongues are they which when they have heard go forth and are choked. The first set heard. The second set heard, received, added joy. The third set heard and took action. Are you seeing now? All an improvement to themselves. And were choked with cares and riches and pleasures of this life and bring no fruit to perfection that means they started bearing fruit but the fruit could not mature the last set 15 but that on the good ground are they look look at look at this look at this they are they which in an honest and good heart having heard the word keep it and bring forth more fruit with patience they are not creative people what made them good was honesty that they had an honest and a good heart 
and by that honesty they were given an ability to keep it and the bible says they produce fruit false words jesus is teaching on fruitfulness now let me tell you this kingdom mysteries are very foolish and childish they were designed that way so that you have to be like a child to understand their operations and that is the reason why many people never become fruitful and never get results because of the simplicity and the childlike character of spiritual communication are we together now look at this i am very grateful to god that the sower himself was not mentioned the bible never told us who the sower was so the sower could be anybody the bible tells us what the seed was and the soils the reaction how they were planted and the results are you getting what i'm saying now now watch this very carefully do you know that we need to congratulate this sower first for his patience and endurance because whoever this sower was it is true that he had to survive a lot when you plant a seed and then it dies then you go to another soil and it improves a little then you go to another soil and it improves a little the bible is very careful to let us see the transitions of this man and saying that all of it is part of an equation that can be captured in, on your journey to fruitfulness the same sower continue to do this until he got to a point what was the difference my brothers and sisters between the wayside and a hundredfold returns the wayside once upon a time now a benefactor of a hundredfold returns every soil was a description of a level of development and the corresponding challenges that would stop that man listen the first we see in the life of that person the wayside according to jesus's own interpretation was a revelation of extreme carelessness you can know that whoever was the possessor of that heart condition was a careless person are we together now there was no discipline at all for the devil to you only enter a man's house and freely pick something without him unnoticed if the doors are not closed there is no system of guidance he did not place value on the information and there are people like that all over the world the moments the word of god comes to bless them they 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 are sympathetic to what the preacher is saying and they hope they are understanding but quite honestly they do not mind whether the information is lost or not it has not become precious and valuable they have not seen the usability of that information and so the press to guard and to protect is not there are we together yes. you only protect what you have value for if you do not have value for it you may not protect it when you finish eating your biscuit in a in a um the the uh, what they call it now the the sachet or so you throw that thing inside a dustbin why because it doesn't mean anything for you again listen my brothers and my sisters forget about true success and fruitfulness if the word of god and the truths delivered do not mean a lot for you you have to get to a point where you have a desperation a hunger and a thirst for truth remember that we prosper according to the third epistle of john according to the prosperity of our souls and the bible says that the end of your faith is the salvation of your soul the renewal the transformation of your mind are we together let me digress a, 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 a little bit and let's go back to our Ephesians chapter 3 and verse 20. Now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly. So God's ability here is not in doubt. The Bible says he is able to do. To be able means to be capable. To be able means it is within your power and it is within your jurisdiction. The Bible says he is able to do abundantly above all that we ask or think. Let's hold it there. Ask or think. I've explained it here. When you say ask or think, that means your asking and your thinking carries equal value in the spirit. 
that both your asking and your thinking are both prayer requests that rise to God your asking can be saying God bless me and your thinking say God I just changed my mind don't waste your time again and that both of them are prayers that can rise to God the Bible says God is able to do what we ask or do what we think the thought realm was where the entire story in the parable of the sower was it it was an interaction in the soils of their hearts and their minds notice that when in the interpretation of those things very little was talked about their hands and any physical energy it was an activity of their minds that determined their failure or their success and even the extent of the success the deliverance that comes through transformation is a much needed deliverance in africa is a much needed deliverance around the middle belt around the north we need a radical shift in our perceptions and in our understanding otherwise we will continue to mock and flatter ourselves and never give room for the fullness of the glory and the power of god to manifest ask someone what do you think is the key to lifting and rising the next thing they begin to tell you all kinds of stories they tell you get a good job they tell you do a good business others will tell you find a good relationship you know somebody who is a destiny helper etc etc those things only matter when these foundational things are in place listen my brothers and my sisters the beginning of your success is when the word of god arrives in your heart and in your mind not when you get a job the starting point of all fruitfulness is the arrival of the word that lives and abides forever your heart and your mind write it down please your heart and your mind a major part of your fruitfulness happens there the manifestation the manifestation is something that can happen suddenly Man of God, listen to me. Businessman, listen to me. Career person, listen to me. The external factor plays a very, very, very small role in your overall success. You are a reflection of the prevailing power of the world within you. You are a reflection of the, the maturity of the word of God in your heart and in your mind your heart and in your mind that means that the word of god alters your perceptions the principles of the word of god have gained entrance into your mind i'm more concerned about the mind part because that is where the stronghold of demons the stronghold of territorial limitations dwell many times when the devil wants to keep people fruitless do you know what he does he makes sure that the word of God cannot get to their mind, but every other thing can get to their hands. Sometimes Satan destroys you by giving to you. He makes sure that your mind never receives anything. Your mind can receive, can be barren while your pocket is full. And you will, anything that your mind has not received is not your own. If they pay you a salary that only got to your hand, you didn't receive a salary. And very soon you will know. No matter what it is, please hear me, my brothers and my sisters. If it has not been captured in your spirit and your mind, it's not yet your own. We possess things in our hearts and our minds first before our hands demonstrate that we have gotten it. Our generation is obsessed with having physical things because you see when you have physical things it can give a show of results are we together now and and it can suggest some form of progress but real progress is what happens in your spirit and in your mind say my spirit and my mind one more time say my spirit and my mind we're discussing fruitfulness now so that a brother and a sister aspiring to rise to be fruitful according to the word of God that you are not listen carefully that you are not allowed it is not given to you 
to really experience fruitfulness until that happens in your mind and your life and the bible says the first seed that must enter your life and enter your mind please hear me it is not an investment idea it is not a business idea listen it is not it is not it is not um uh, what do we call it products and services they only will make sense when the word notice that the bible never tells us that the farm did not have other things but when satan came he only searched for the word and carried it and left every other thing there the word of god is an incorruptible seed listen please my brothers and my sisters get this the word of god is an incorruptible seed the mindset it says let this mind be in you philippians chapter 2 let this mind be in you and verse 5 let this thinking let this perception be in you which was also in christ jesus philippians chapter 2 and verse 5 let this mind permit this mind permit this mindset to be in you which was also in christ every blessed person every world changer whether in the kingdom and in the secular will tell you that your point of advantage is not what you have in your pocket your point of advantage is not a car your point of advantage is not the house the point of advantage is the quality of the information that your mind like a womb has received and is able to incubate show me a man whose spirit and mind has received from god i show you a man who there is no power in existence that sustains the ability to destroy his fruitfulness it is first in your spirit and your mind while that is happening you're still with your trouser that you use needle and thread to sew doesn't matter while that is happening you are still in your one room with leakages everywhere stay there while that is happening there are no members coming to the church there are still you your wife and three other members don't worry you don't get the anointing just by hands laying on you the cap hands are only like a tap the hand stops on your head but the real impartation goes into your spirit When you drink water, your mouth allows the water to go in and it stops. But the water does not stop in your mouth. It gets into your system. If you leave water just in your mouth, it will not do much. You need to swallow it. When you swallow it, go to bed. Every other thing starts automatically. The moment it leaves your mouth, leave the rest. A system has already been designed. You don't just say, water now, where are you? Okay, you are here shift left no 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 don't worry when you swallow a drug you don't look at the drug and say drug please make no mistake it's my eye not my back there is a design your job is to get it within you and let it stay sometimes some drugs take longer than others to start working there are some drugs that can even cause you to be drowsy to go to sleep so that it can really work and then it would damage everything that it needs to destroy whilst working my brothers and my sisters listen to me the foundation of true success is not running around with proposals i have a proposal I, I need capital i need this i need that no the major work that anybody will do it's not even carrying certificates all around and say just give me a job yeah, and my life will change there's nothing wrong with those things those things are profitless when your mind is barren it will not make any difference it will only convince you sociologically that you are better than someone else but sooner or later you will see that your life does not recognize those activities as progress are we together now there are many pastors who think that ministry rises just because of connections and invitations if i can sing here or preach here or do this no no your real fruitfulness is within the richness of the word of god within you the quality of the wisdom your interaction with the wisdom of god everything that happens is only a revelation of what is going on within the parable of the sower the entire 
the entire story of that parable is about the hearts of men a sower and seed the word of god the living word joshua chapter one please give it to us and verse eight joshua chapter one moses is let's let's even start from verse five give us verse five we'll read down to verse eight there shall not any man be able to stand before thee all the days of your life as i was with moses so i will be with you i will not fail thee nor forsake you he's doing something to his mind he didn't give him a new knife and say this i sharpen this knife it can cut through trees no he's doing something to his mind that i am empowering your mind that if you can believe this no man will sustain an ability to stand before you all the days of your life and then verse 6 it says be strong and of good courage for unto these people shall thou divide look at god speaking there are giants so and god is telling him how to share the land not how to fight the giants in god's mind victory was settled i've given you victory not by giving you anything physical i did something to your mind that's your victory be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We win not just by physical fights. When our spirits and our minds agree, let every devil clear the way. It's true. Be strong and of good courage. For unto these people thou shalt divide. He didn't say you would die during war. I thought Joshua would say, come, oh God, assure me, these people have real knife. Will I die or I will live? Already, if God tells you you are going to share a land, it will be stupid to be asking whether you will die. God is saying, look, I've seen the end of it. Let me teach you how to share the land. Look, look at victors. Look at fruitful people discussing sharing the land, not fighting. We are talking about Jericho and other nations here. You are standing before a fortified city and God is saying, this is the slice. This one will go to this. Are you getting it now? So you see somebody that does not have Gary and is saying, this one will go to charity. This one is going to go to my parents. I have five siblings and I will take care of them. And you enter and say, what is happening? And you say, I'm planning. I'm planning my victory. You say you are planning your victory are you aware that your mother is in the hospital and we need just twenty thousand to help her you say i'm already planning i know that i will which i swear unto your fathers to give them seven only be thou strong what is the requirement be strong not just be skillful don't get me wrong these are factors but i'm arranging them according to order of priority be strong and very courageous that thou mightest observe to do according to all the law which moses my servant commanded thee turn not from me to the right hand or to the left that thou mayest prosper this is god giving a man a recipe for success and he's not saying anything about the war he's about to fight he's not saying follow through the back door and not the instruction for victory would come later he's giving him a winning formula verse 8 this book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth but thou shalt meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous who will make your way it's not only god that makes a way he can empower you to make your way and if you are not ready to make your way prosperous it's a commitment it's a call to responsibility and thou shall have good success brothers and sisters life is systemic we are not the first to enter any realm we desire not at this level god has empowered people listen god has empowered people in business in ministry spiritual life whatever area god has listen god has allowed us to see the scars of people his his the bible is not just full of triumphs it's also full of failure and scars the bible says that all scripture were written for our learning that we through the comfort of scripture might find hope so god allows the 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 the, the, the record of many people's limitations so that you will learn be fruitful he 
is a command be fruitful oh thou sower be fruitful and you're saying god change my life change my life and you're thinking in your mind capital oh god capital just give me five hundred thousand, and god you can't even go out of my life and the devil is saying i like this kind of prayer i like anything that takes the word of god out of a man's life he will leave the capital with you and take the word away and you will watch with wonder how you will mess up your own life if i talk to many of us now i say what are you trusting god for in what area are you trusting God for results? I will be surprised how many of us are expecting external things to happen so that it can be proof that the word of God is working. No. When it has to do with fruitfulness, the major work is within. How many ministers will stay and build capacity with the word? There are ministers who do not have a Bible, but they already have suits in advance. And... I believe in success we teach you all the dimensions of success but let me tell you just putting pictures and photos of nice things on your wall and mesmerizing without the Word of God is Scientology you are just joking and nothing will happen it is the Word of God that empowers as many as believe him he gave them power to become Jesus said follow me follow the word and I will make you make you the maker is the word because it is vain to wake up early in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow that's why business people who reject god are in trouble ministry people who reject god are in trouble career people who reject god are in trouble it's amazing how many people leave church to go and honor an appointment because they've indoctrinated themselves to believe that god is a luggage vain is the strength of a man in this world that we live in it is the richness of the word of god the richness of your spiritual understanding that translates into your fruitfulness listen invest in understanding invest in understanding before you invest in clothes invest in understanding before you invest in hair invest in understanding before you invest in cars and houses and all of this to invest in understanding is not to buy books to invest in understanding is not to watch sermons to invest in understanding is to have the preparedness to pursue exact knowledge to buy a book is one thing to read it is another thing to understand it is another thing to apply it is another thing the labor dimension of fruitfulness is done internally please listen to me the dynamics of redemption happen in the grave after the third day when everything had finished the grave hades the place of the dead Jesus is done and he's ready to resurrect. Now he comes out in glory and we see the effulgence of his glory and he calls many sons into glory. Listen, if a major part of your life is visible for all to see, you are not successful. If a major part of your life is visible for all to see, in this kingdom, people are only allowed to see a minute part in fact it's even the manifestation most of the work is done within notice that your nourishment physically only a little part of it is seen they see the food and they see it entering your mouth every other thing the digestion etc etc be fruitful as as god has helped me to rise and grow i found myself I'm, I'm becoming more and more emotional to my own surprise because i look at people and i can understand the heart and the burden of jesus that he says he looks at people as though a sheep without a shepherd and i look i say oh i now see why africa is this way i now see why our lives are this way and do you know many of us believe that because we have sincerity life must answer to us sincerity is very important like we learned but it is not enough something about your understanding has empowered satan to destroy fruitfulness in your life something about your understanding please listen 
understanding is important when they employ you Sam come it's looking sharp and smart look at this when when you employ Sam you are not employing your body there are few employments where they border on size are we together now any size in many jobs can do what they are employing they are employing your understanding and the time with that understanding a job is time plus understanding in someone's assignment are you seeing that now yes so the factor is your understanding i've given this analogy come come stand here for me please look at this reason with me for one moment let's assume that this brother god forbid eh? i always give this example let's call this guy an armed robber that is a thief are we together and let's call this one a pastor a man of god looking sharp and then you are angry at this guy and you are praying that police will apprehend him because he's a nuisance to society and you are praying that god will open doors for this man to go to the nations because you consider him to be a blessing now shoot both of them now it's, it's not good to talk about shooting and a pastor but just in my example shoot both of them and let them fall to the ground dead who really died the dead body is on the ground now are you going to call the dead body a pastor is the dead body a pastor no is the arm robber is the dead body an arm robber neither the dead body nor the past the pastor's body nor the arm robber's body are the arm robbers or the pastor the pastor has gone the arm robber too has gone their bodies are there so who is really the pastor talk to me who is really the pastor this body if Sam adds weight, will it scatter the anointing on his head? Will it make him to suddenly become mad because he's not reasoning well? Not necessary. In fact, not at all. Are we together now? If this arm robber suddenly adds weight, does it necessarily stop him from having the appetite to steal? This is the arm robber and this is the pastor. When Satan comes, he doesn't need the body. He goes to the mind. When the mind sits on the throne, then the body becomes a slave to the mind. The body becomes a helpless executor of the conclusions that have happened. The board meeting happens between the mind and the spirit. The body is not invited. The body only executes the decisions that have been agreed upon. Same thing with the pastor. When the Holy Ghost comes to you like he's coming to some of you now, he's not concerned about the body. He's concerned about your spirit. Then he's concerned about your mindset. Hand over to him your spirit and your mind so that he will plant in you the seed of understanding and watch how your body begins to reflect what has happened within you this my brothers and my sisters is how we are fruitful in this kingdom every other thing like creativity and all of these things only answer to this foundation say be fruitful be fruitful does not mean go and do business that comes later be fruitful does not mean go and look for capital be fruitful does not mean go and do all no no The heart preparation and your mind. Most believers have done well in the area of the heart, the spirit. But our minds are terribly unfruitful. Our minds continue to reject the spoken word of God concerning our lives. And this is my assignment. That if this year, if we are to experience extraordinary fruitfulness, then we have to trust God to begin to transit us. Listen carefully. To transit us from different levels of understanding. There is a requisite level of understanding that can receive what God wants to give you. A man who is pastoring 5,000 members and a man who is pastoring 1,000 and a man who is pastoring 100 and a man who is pastoring 10. The difference is not their size. The difference is not their tribe. The difference is not even the God they gave their lives to. The difference can, may not even be the spiritual authorities they submit to. The difference is the construction of their understanding. That someone has allowed the Holy Spirit to construct his value system 
to be so flawless that he knows how to engage the principles of the kingdom and the physical results show while he's activating these things every member that comes to him is in his house but something from within you calls them and it's not just anointing the health of your mind is a force too it can call the same way it can drive please listen to me my brothers and my sisters if you intend to be fruitful except it's just a cliche you know and, and and many times in africa i think this is the reason why we like signs and wonders not because they are such a big deal alone we like it because we believe it is a cheaper route to results just prophesy apostle why waste your time teach this didn't god anoint you for me i mean just get bottles of oil here touch my head and just like that other person testified that you bear fruits that abide well while i was sitting down here we just had a brief maybe 10 seconds discussion with ajimi and he said he shared a scripture that just blessed me and he said the bible says strong men retain wealth powerful you are not strong just because you have it the ability to retain it means you have conquered the forces that try to take it from you are we together when you lift um this weight you don't just pick it up and drop it down and win you must hold it for some time it's proof that it's, it didn't just happen you hold it there while you are shaking and then at a point they say you have the point has been proven that this one you qualify to lift that weight so there are things that when you hold if you are not spiritual and you did not hold it indeed it will slip away but holding it for a while qualifies that you held it through knowledge we don't hold things with our hands our hands only support what our mind has held the real instrument for holding things is your mind when it's too heavy for your mind your hand can support but you don't hold things with your hand is God speaking to us you are seated here right now looking at me swimming through a maze of challenges maybe and believing that you came for koinonia so that you will experience transformation could be in ministry could be in business could be in whatever it is but then the lord is saying i am limited by your understanding there is something about your understanding that is not allowing me bless you and let me tell you this you see why jesus wept any man of god who is committed to transformation knows how frustrating it is it is difficult to get members to receive that's why we take out time and pray not necessarily because what we are saying Saying. it's not necessarily the prayer that brings it are we together when revelation comes the truth is there but praying that when the seed is planted that the minds of the people can receive let me tell you less than 10 percent of members really follow and grow on the information they are given that's why testimonies are scarce that's why there are supernatural instant testimonies but not sustainable ones you will hardly see a member testify back to back for two months he usually will come once and you don't expect to find him again because most of the testimony was not gotten through knowledge prophetic intervention one miracle here i fell under the anointing and the next day this happened so i get a job by a prophetic word but i never get promoted you see that because the understanding that will make me that 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 trustable is not there i had the privilege to have a conversation with a very very notable uh, man you know one of the you know the second in command in one of the great institutions in this nation and then while he was talking to me and we were discussing he told me he said my apostle let me tell you it is not true that there are no jobs it's just that the level of mental depravity of the average young man with risk and this is a born again believer he said we are frustrated every time we take people to come for interviews as they talk we just continue to look at them and the privilege of marking school of ministry scripts has taught me that it is true you know we insult lecturers we insult everybody they gave me they gave me i have done at least you know i love god and i love you i have marked things that have said my god how in the world does this person plan to that's why 
teachings like it doesn't matter what happens in your mind just receive the anointing and rise we like it because we know that what is in there if god is going to remove it it will take time but i tell you don't fight with the spirit sit down and let him take that thing let him edit your understanding and plant the word of god and my brother and my sister you will watch your life rise to reflect what god is putting within you this is another place where the error of speaking without transformation comes just to call it no sir to where it's like opening a tap and there is no container to receive it the prophet was only comfortable to prophesy when there were vessels because the oil would be wasted without vessel to just believe that you just keep calling things at random to your life with an empty mind is a joke this is scientology and you have to be careful with all these materials we read around about the universe and all of this let me tell you by the grace of god god has granted us the privilege of light in this ministry from any dimension you look at it we're vast people who are keen on knowledge so we don't speak from a standpoint of ignorance whether from business from ministry from whatever we are we are by the grace of god enlightened enough to provide the guidance that gives you balance i can tell you many people will continue to be frustrated because they lack the understanding on how the kingdom of god and his systems accurately work are we together be fruitful is not just a prophetic declaration alone that happens automatically be fruitful leads you through a process and the first of the processes is to allow the word of god to find expression in your spirit then to find expression in your mind the moment your mind begins to transit start rejoicing with no idea yes sir start rejoicing because inevitably the physical equivalent of everything that is already happening will begin to come to you in 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 circles of what you will think are coincidences but they are orchestrations based on a spiritual law i was sharing with the leaders and i said every time the student is ready the lecturer always shows up every time the student is ready the lecturer always shows up Be fruitful. He's not just speaking to your body. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. This is what will put money in your pocket. Be fruitful. It is not the capital that is given to your hands that makes you fruitful. It is not the business, the investment, or the job. The job is only a physical platform to give your understanding expression to reward you. Nobody prospers from business nobody prospers from investment nobody prospers from jobs you prosper off your understanding all of these things are simply platforms that give your understanding room that's why two people can have the same platforms but different understandings and all those vehicles will produce at different rates even in the good soil it produced 30 fold 60 fold hundredfold the same way we have several people here in koinonia many of you are members workers and leaders but your results are produced at different rates same anointing same mentorship same programs same teaching different results all producing are we together if you want to be fruitful your assignment is not to just start buying good clothes thank god for that i say this because you see young people have a pressure that society is pushing on people now they look at you and say since when did you graduate you say five years say, you are still dressing like this and the next thing god blesses you with thirty thousand. off you go to somewhere in anger i must buy stretch jeans thirty thousand. i must buy this and that and you shop it you 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 shop physical things and then you put yourself under pressure and then you come back and say look this is to announce to you i have now improved we say why you say because i have a bigger house because i have a bigger car because i have a bigger this i have that to me that that is increase no sir and your mind keeps saying you are wasting your time you only bought something for someone else 
I look at your mind and the only thing you have bought is a book because that's the only thing that has stayed in your mind. That's why nobody can steal the book because your mind caught it. Every other thing can be carried away because it only came around your life but not in your mind. The wealth must be gotten here before it comes here. Are we together? Yes. Apostle, now if somebody gives me money to start a business, can't I just start and prosper? You will fail. It's not an insult. You will fail. 99% of the people who want to start business will fail. Not because there are statistics of failure. Your mind, you do not have the understanding of the system to prosper. Anybody who wants to prosper, your first assignment is to look for references and models. Transformation is easy when there are references. Not activity, not action. No. Listen, when there is no reference, your, your mind operates with imagery. And the moment there is no reference for the possibility that you want to step into, you are not going there. Who is God speaking to? That this thing you are doing, you are just dreaming until there is a reference. That's why by the grace of God, we continue to walk with the Holy Spirit. That he continues to lift us, to make us better references. Listen, let me tell you this. If you sit under an apostolic ministry, walking in signs and wonders, you will enter into that grace fast because there is a reference. Your spirit can easily pick. Are we together? If your pastor is a poor man, by the grace of God, you will grow in the word. But it's going to be difficult because there is no reference. There is an impartation that results on themselves bring to you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? It's very important. That's why it's important. Every ministry and every organization rises to reflect the mindset of the leaders. It is true. Koinonia is a reflection of our mindset and also a reflection of our limitation. If you look at Koinonia and you see anything wrong, it is a reflection of the areas where personally my understanding and our understanding has not been well constructed our assignment is to bridge that gap as fast as possible through knowledge so that you will build what is akin to an edifice a proof of mastery as you grow notice you grow in the secret but you see your result on the members you stay in the secret and God brings a new level of the anointing and you start watching in the physical to see. They were not there when God was giving you those new dimensions but then you begin to get it. A time will come in this ministry you will start seeing people have cars in strange ways. A time will come you will see people start having certain results will rise. It is not just their personal faith is that there has been an upgrade in the secret place that can now receive that level of reality. A time is going to come when we will get our own property and sometimes it can be within two, three months and everything is put in place. You will think it just came. No, the lifting in the spirit. God now says now you have the capacity there are things if God gave me today, I prayed for it for years. But I look at it today and I thank God for not answering those prayers. Because had he given me, it is true that you would have been a waste. The same way you have been praying. Notice that certain things seem to never get answered in your miracle service request. And it is not always that demons are stopping it. It is God's mercy that is keeping it from you. Because it will be a waste. And if you lose it, it will take a long time before it comes. So God will keep it for you. And let you just wallow in your interpretation, calling it delay. Whereas God is keeping it like a faithful caretaker until your understanding is able to sustain it. Are we together? Yes. This book of the law shall not depart from out of your mouth, but thou shalt meditate, 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 meditate. Value for the word of God. Listen, let me tell you, I, I look at people in this ministry and I am blessed the way God is lifting people in this ministry. Sometimes I, I, I know how I met them and I know how they came and see the power of the word of God. 
transiting people. The word of God is not a charm. The word of God is a compendium of the principles of God. The understanding of the systems of God and obtaining grace to engage them is what changes your life. Listen, a day will come you will sit down and say, God, stop giving me money. As far as my personal needs are concerned, I don't know what to do. And God says, it's an irreversible process. It will keep coming. So God will say, divert anyone to the kingdom. But to stop it, it can't happen again. Wait till I teach you on wealth this year. God taught me something new. Ah. You see how you clapped? It's a reflection of the passion and the prayer. Oh God. Well, and it's not an insult. It's a wonderful thing. But let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, if this mind does not change, your life will not change. A man is in bondage when his mind is in bondage. No matter how free he is, he is bound. Watch my knee was bound and kept in prison many things happened to him but when they bound him he spoke loudest because his mind was still alive hallelujah glory to the lamb glory to the father you are seated on the throne hallelujah encourage you sit down sit down we're going to pray we spend time worrying about people who don't like us do you know if they are not in your mind they can't do you anything wickedness only hurts you to the degree to which you allow it to step in it's true that you immune your mind that you come from a family where people say you too you want to rise you are also joining them you are coming to that that stupid place where there are you people are just jumping for nothing and you feel stupid and sometimes in that stupidity you open the gate of your mind and allow them to enter when they enter your mind you are gone set a guard over my mind it was a prayer set a guard Lord, that no matter what happens around my life, shield my mind and my life is safe. If you injure yourself, it can heal. Are we together? But the Bible says a broken spirit dried the bones. The bones can be healthy and the spirit broken and the bones begin to reflect what is happening. You don't off this light by breaking every bulb one by one. The light is reflecting the health of a generator and the health of a switch. Just because one switch is faulty, every healthy bulb will remain off at the mercy of one switch. The focus, my brother and my sister, is not in doing physical things. This anointing and this lifting you see, is not by physical connection. I'm a good musician. Invite me. I promise you that in the name of Jesus, I will rise. No. Let me tell you how to be invited. Stay in the secret place. Allow the spirit of God to brood. He will give you one song. He knows what men cannot resist. He will coordinate by all grace and anoint you one song that you will raise. People, and he will make sure the ear of the person who can help you hears that song. And he says, who sang this song? Come to my church. He will array every other helper and he will anoint you so lavishly that day. You, you rise like a spring up and never go down again. The systems of lifting are very easy when your understanding is in place. It is difficult for God to lift a man whose understanding is unfruitful. You will frustrate the potentials of the spirit. Listen, brothers and sisters, this is a call to sit down. This running around and premature manifestation, comparing yourself with yourselves, the Bible says they are not wise. The key is to sit down. Someone will come dressing sharp like Sam is looking and try to intimidate you and say you have been in this area for years. The only thing I hear is ba 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 and your empty head, empty pocket, oh yeah, take and go and buy Indomie and you feel stupid as you go to the shop with 1,000 naira and say, God, is this how you plan to disgrace me? And God will say, if I give you money, have I not insulted you? Listen, 
listen brothers and sisters don't be so poor that all you have is money if all you have is an object you remove from your pocket or an object that is stored in a bank out of fear you are truly poor follow me when I finish those words I told you be fruitful we are just starting then there is multiply then there is replenish then there is subdue they are not the same never be poor such that all you have is just money if all you have is money you are extremely poor because there are many things money cannot do most poor people agree with what I'm saying because they have been angry about money since not because they understand it you say this in an average church and people say yes it's true it's just an opportunity to be angry at something they've tried to get but it is true God is giving you what is better than money you know this issue of saying this person is worth this what's that oh pastor alpha you are worth 10 million what, what nonsense what do you mean i'm worth 10 million no what do you mean you are worth 100 million 1 billion those are just carnal expressions sensual manifestations and it's not just say, oh i'm worth the blood of jesus is true too but you can be worth something solid that is greater than money hmm. hallelujah Glory to the Lamb, glory to the Father, you are seated on. Listen, I have taught you that there are things when you have in life, only the poor need you. There are things when you have in life, only the rich need you. There are things when you have in life, only the educated need you. There are things when you have in life only the uneducated need you. There are things when you have in life only children need you. There are things when you have in life only young people need you. There are things in life when you have only old people need you. But my brothers, there are things when you possess in this life. When you possess it. The, listen, listen, listen. You walk life at your terms. The great see you and call you great. This is what God is giving you. Sit down. We are going to pray. Listen, look at me. Make no mistakes to think all this labor is simply to get money to your pocket. If that's all I'm doing with this teaching, I've insulted you. I deserve to be arrested for insulting you that bad. If all that we are doing in Koinonia is just to get you to a point where you can have a car or a house, it's an insult. You don't need to hear what I'm saying to buy a car or a house. What I'm giving you will make kings stand before you and look at you. Listen, they will come with their pride and hang it like Sheba in front of your door and stand and say, teach us wisdom. Are you getting me? I pray in the name of Jesus that you understand that there is a more superior way of living. I can meet Sam and Sam can bring out some money to sow into my life as a man of God and I collect what Sam has brought and I believe I'm valuable because he gave me some money I look at the money and smile and then I run away no listen when you get what I am teaching you and putting in your mind you will find out that the equation that the world uses a young man you save for 10 years and get a house. That equation is for some people. I'm exempting you from that list. Are you getting what I'm saying? Listen to me. Oh, borrow money from the bank and build a house, then repay over 30 years. No. There is a dimension that when you have, my brothers and my sisters, an estate developer will come to you and look at you and say, can I give you the privilege? I've taught you something. Look at this isn't it amazing that the greediest people in the world are still givers it's just that you are not the one they give to let me tell you this there is nobody that is really greedy they just believe you are not deserving of that level of communication some of our parents we will call them 
and say daddy support me and they will refuse yet a man of god will come to the city and they will carry 10 times the amount you have been begging and kneel down and say sir can you give us the privilege to sow they are not greedy they just believe it's unfair to give you that much listen your pride should not be a car your pride should not be good clothes what you are receiving you have left the level of car and clothes since what you are waiting for now is the systems that bring them i want you to believe in what i'm telling you if you think right now what you are getting is what will give you a car what will give you a car finished since 2013 14 you are receiving what will subdue nations not a car what is a car what is a bank account how many what is a visa to go to abroad london is it jupiter listen be careful the things that represent your expectations don't shortchange yourself god is giving you the keys of the hearts of kings of nations not not some little one one jeep here one this and you say now i have a jeep my mind ah oh, no please a time will come we'll just sit down and testify and we'll be grateful god just did this and that and that to be an insult that what you are learning now is just for an estate no. an estate a car my brothers and my sisters be patient with god and be patient with me and watch what your life becomes it's a guarantee that i give you by god we're not talking of buying a car we're not talking of buying clothes we're talking of shutting the gates of nations I had the privilege to meet with a very great woman of God who is also a business person and while we were talking she was telling me her itinerary and she said she's on her way to France right now that the president of France they need to have meetings I said this is it whereas some mediocre somewhere is there harassing people just because he bought an expensive shoe there are people deciding the destinies of nations a president of a nation like france calling for you to sit down this is what god is training you to become the level of anointing you are receiving is not to compare yourself with somebody in your family to say i am first that's mediocrity that is for somebody who is just passing koinonia to go to his house that's what that person receives as the gift for just passing to go I testify, testify that your goodness is real. I testify that your goodness is real. Your goodness is real. I testify. Your goodness is real. I testify. Listen, the work you are doing in your destiny is what you are doing now. A time will come when from morning till night, all that you will see is testimonies of men coming to serve your needs. It will surprise you and because you will not be a man of God as it were. You know, most times we've thought that these things only happen to men of God. It's not true. These are the systems of the kingdom. You've heard me say that we will all be great and that we will all know ourselves. Keep watching. Keep watching what our children will be. Keep watching. Most times people don't believe truth until it's too late. There are people today who look and say, I used to know this man. It's not used to know. God is giving you an opportunity to catch a flight that only the hand of God can limit where it is going. It is by the Spirit. Listen. This tonight is a message of hope so that this pressure to prove a point throw it out of the window you have left that realm since hear what i'm telling you you have left that realm since pressure to prove a point oh apostle I'm, my desire now is to trust god let me just get a four bedroom flat and god says but you got a four bedroom flat right when koinonia started it is just coming through the loins of time to manifest who through faith subdued kingdoms 
there are some of you let me tell you when you you see this is why when you see the physical manifestation of certain people's results the level of their transformation does not allow them to start physically at certain levels you see god jump to a height is because of the vastness of their level of understanding there are some of you here you will be surprised that your first car will be a jeep and people will be angry not because a jeep is anything god says if if i will have to be this is the fairest i can be to you based on how you have transited and then you will be surprised to find out that while you were thinking god would just give you a two-bedroom flat and this and that god will bring you to a five-bedroom flat and god will say this is just to give you the convenience to start out in life and people will be surprised because it's not in your heart it's amazing how believers mark time under certain achievements it tells you that they didn't plan to go far one man of god sent me a text sometime and he said somebody sent him five thousand dollars said apostle i can't believe i'm holding dollars five thousand dollars and he was shouting was saying, "Ah, god thank you and i sent him a text after a long time i said mister be careful that can be the very reason why you go down if your whole life is worth five thousand dollars you are very small are you getting what i'm saying that one person here one person will be able to have the resources that can completely clear an idp camp one person without making noise this is what god is raising you to become and you will not even consider yourself to be a kingdom financier doing that you are just somebody who loves god Hi. be patient be patient i cause the spirit of hurry be patient be patient Watch what our children in Koinonia become. When they are five, ten, you will look at their lives and you will see how wealthy they will become independent of your contribution by engaging the world themselves. There are some of you seated here right now and all you are dreaming of is starting your church and the anointing on you with all humility even many overseers do not have it. And God says, sit down there. Just sit down. Because I'm not giving you a church. I'm giving you territories. Territories. Not just a small church to flatter yourself and compare yourself between a group of pastors and say, I am better. No, sir. No, sir. I testify. Testify that your goodness is real. I testify, testify that your goodness is real. Hey, your goodness is real. I testify. Your goodness is real. Listen, we are going to pray. Let me speak to someone here. The prayer request that you think God did not answer, He's answered it since. It's just that you didn't know how the answer comes. He answered it since. Some of you, God looked at your prayer request and all He saw was a blank sheet because everything you wrote, you are bigger than it already. And God did not see a need. God is saying, you've not given me a prayer request. You wrote nonsense there. Lord, if I can just have 30,000 every month, and Lord, if I can, and God just looks at it and says, the level of the word that is in you can only allow for minimum a hundredfold return. I say, God, but I'm a village boy, I'm a village girl, and God says, leave all of that one and stay with me. Listen, beware of the pride of unbelievers. Respect unbelievers who have gotten knowledge. But there are many unbelievers who are ignorant and you see them 
doing, making all kinds of noise. They will rubbish you and make you look small. I sense that there is a spirit that is just going around great believers to make them feel small, to make them look like we have waited so long. Is it that God cannot give you a shoe? What is in a shoe that God cannot give you? What is in a cloth? You mean you are still using a, a second hand with one? Ah, but you should have left this level and you go back feeling stupid. And God says, my daughter, forget about this. Are you ready to pray? be fruitful he's giving you the keys of nations the keys the keys the keys not the key of a territory the keys of nations listen today by the grace of god koinonia has become like a place of pilgrimage you cannot believe the number of people who want to come here for visit i've had to restrain many of them pleading with them because I think that we may not have the facilities to truly honor them as we should. It is not location. It is not where you go. When you stay with God and the light shines from you, my brothers and my sisters, you will become a praise of nations that people will look at you and our family will say, we've been praying for rising. We didn't know God answered it in a person. We thought God would shift us to another territory. Lift your voice and begin to pray in the spirit and say, Lord, thank you. Though my beginning may be small, though my beginning may be small, but my latter end, though my beginning may be small, if someone pray, I am fruitful. I may not yet manifest fruitfulness in my pocket. I may not yet manifest fruitfulness in a job. I may not yet manifest fruitfulness in my business, but in the name of Jesus, I declare that I am fruitful. Gentiles to my light. Gentiles to my light. Are you praying, Koinonia? Shalaka shalaka to Be fruitful. Be productive. God is altering your thoughts, altering your understanding. We win by the help of our spirit man and the health of our understanding God is showing you the laws of the spirit showing you success systems take your eyes away from the physical results I assure you nothing will stop them from coming men may mock you they may laugh at you. Where is the increase in ministry if you are really anointed? Where are the invitations to travel around? If you are really anointed, who is placing a demand on your grace? They will say, but forget about them and stay with the God of all flesh. Let him walk upon your spirit. Let him walk upon your mind. Allow that pregnancy that is in your mind. Allow it to reach maturation and watch the wonder that you will produce. Your goodness is real. Testify. Your goodness is real. Your goodness is real. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to challenge the spirit of impatience. Listen. God is a God of speed. But God only gives you your inheritance when you are built up. Everybody say built up. Be careful with unhealthy comparison. Business people listen. Career people listen. We were all classmates. Now this one is like this. This one has two houses. And I am here. Nothing is moving. Be careful. If you see that in your life, know it's an attack. Listen, listen. Especially for our dear sisters. Listen to me, my adorable ladies. Let me tell you this. You listen to what this arrogant world without Christ is telling you. You will not amount to anything. They will make you feel stupid for loving God. 
they will make you feel stupid for staying and growing you will look so cheap and weak but you stay and let God adorn you like Hadassah and lift you like a trophy in one day one day what is a prayer point of nations come to you because you are prepared Don't be ashamed of where you are. You are still fruitful. Don't be under pressure. Listen, listen, let me tell you this. If you can conquer the pressure of proving a point, you have conquered life. The pressure of proving a point. I need to prove to the people in my family. I need to prove to the people in my village. They've been saying, what are you doing in Zaria for five years? Eh? Are you cursed that your life is not rising? Hold on. When God is done with you, ah. my deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. My deliverer is coming. My deliverer is standing by. Let me tell you a humorous story and then we'll pray. Some time back I was to inv be invited somewhere, one of the places that I went to minister. And a man of God was called and asked and said, Do you know Apostle Joshua Selman? And he said, Well, I've heard about him, but I don't know him. And the man at the other side of the phone advised the, the people to invite me. And said, Can't, We don't know this man. Don't invite him rather invite a b c d and the person at the phone say you don't know the encounters i've had with this man it's impossible for us no matter what you say we must invite him that's what happens when you wait for god there are men that continue to pray secretly why don't you fall so that it will justify their prophecy but my brothers and my sisters when god puts something in your spirit and put something in your mind you have watched people waste their time forever they will waste their time forever. It is the finger of God that lifts you and keeps you. They will finish a meeting and say, don't promote Pastor Alpha. Sit down here. He will never rise. Just when they finish, the man goes back and by the next day, the promotion letter is out. Listen, there are not too many people like us on earth. It's important for you to understand this. It's not pride. It's a breed that is plucked out of fire. I don't want to be poor in my life. I hate poverty. And so I made up my mind to learn everything I could learn about wealth. I still am learning. I've studied the wealthiest people on earth. Literally, all the billionaires, one by one, I've studied their lives. I've studied people who demonstrated wealth in the Bible. Abraham, Isaac. I've studied men like Bishop Oyedepo, Kenneth Copeland, David Ibiomi, people who represent the portrait of a prosperous life. I pay the price to seek knowledge. I've studied the largest churches in every continent. I know them. I can tell you without thinking. I've studied the lives of the pastors. What brought the crowds to them? I've studied the lives of very anointed people, right from the generals to great men like Benny He. What was their secret? The reason why we fail again and again is we are not studying successful people. The Bible says in Isaiah 51, it says, Look unto Abraham your father and to Sarah that bore thee. He said, For I called him alone and I blessed him and I increased him. Look unto him, meaning understudy his life. Please, cut short your journey to success by following wisdom. Pursue it. Wisdom leaves trails behind. If you are interested, you will find it. Don't try to discover a road that has been found. Ask for the ancient paths. Don't labor trying to discover it. It's been found. There's nothing you really want in life that somebody has not gotten. So that's the second law we violate. We do not passionately pursue wisdom and understanding. 
there are times i can lock myself up for two days three days and all i'm watching is videos upon videos videos of men of god sometimes i can play worship songs or play the videos of men of god and while it is playing i will just be praying in tongues all through i have in my phone videos i partition my phone into different compartments worship songs teachings that bless me are not possible say in the name of jesus i make up my mind to pursue wisdom and to get understanding brothers and sisters look at me i don't care what is not working in your life right now I don't care what the ridicule is. You can determine the lifespan of your tragedy by the speed with which you pursue wisdom. You prolong your tragedy when you fail to seek wisdom. You prolong your tragedy. Ah! The moment you find wisdom, begin to rejoice, even if you are in the fire, because you are coming out. For sure. For sure. Number three, the third principle we keep violating to our detriment is that we do not live by the truths that we have found. How true. Some of us, and for many of us who have been coming for koinonia and have had access to the teachings, the truth is many of us, there are very few of us that will say we do not know certain laws especially in certain areas but we do not live by the truths we know you see knowledge is not power consistently applied knowledge is what is power the truths you know that you do not live by notice i did not say practice let me tell you another mistake we make many of us try to practice we don't live by you see when you try to practice a thing it's because your conviction about it is still dwindling when your conviction about a thing is certain, you don't practice, you live by it. Those who practice principles are conscious of the results. Those who live by principles know it must produce. They have moved past just results. Ah, but I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded. Job was so confident that when a man hooks up to God, he can come out of everything. And he says, though he slay me, yet will I praise him. He said, all the days of my appointed time, I will wait until my change comes. It was this understanding that made Daniel, listen, Daniel was not trying to practice faith. He was living a life of faith. That's why when they threw him in the lion's den. Let me tell you how those who try to practice these principles behave. When they try to practice, they are looking at the other end of it for results. And the moment they don't find results, once, twice, those who are trying to practice prayer, they pray for one week, and then they quickly watch the result. And they say, this thing is not working. Then they gas out. They try to look for something else. But there are those who live by prayers. Those who practice trying to study the word. Those who try to practice staying in God's presence. Listen, don't try to practice these principles. Live by them meaning sustain a conviction that is beyond their producing results to you that if they never produce results you cannot undo them again we do not live by the truths we know inaction and disobedience has been one serious reason why many of our lives have been stuck in one place in action closely related to this we don't take steps we never act we are afraid listen i shared it during the graduation of our school of ministry students you will have to take a step one day and walk on the water a day will come you must take that step you must take that step take it and fail but take it the one who takes a step and fails is more honorable than the one who never takes any step. The one who wrote jam five times and failed is more honorable than the one who just sits down and didn't write jam. 
are we together the one who tried to look for 10 jobs with zero results is better than the one who just kept his certificate lying down and complaining and saying in the days of our parents government used to give people jobs step out of that comfort zone step out of that place of comfort I know somebody who got a job he got a job as a student I think he was in 300 level when he got a job he had mastered it was something that had to do with IT and he knew it so well he went and took a step and wrote a proposal and you know when he wrote it they asked him they thought he had graduated and served and when he wrote everything they said okay so um, what did you study he said no I'm, I'm still a student in training and the man said walk out of my office he said, sir please give me about five or ten minutes according to what he said if I do not convince you that I know what I'm doing I will step out and the mistake that man made was to give that guy ten minutes and he wowed him there and then they gave him a job he was paying immediately he finished he went to serve there he's still working there but there are other people who that man is their uncle there are people who are neighbors to that workplace how many people for instance who live very close to cjc here and have been oppressed by demons for many years and have never come to just sit down it's just a two minutes walk am i right just a two minutes walk when they see people gather they'll sit down outside and be talking when i step out they say that's him and then all the stories that follow me. are we together disobedience you must live by conviction so I've identified three things let's review it quickly number one is lack of determination see if you want to be anointed you will be anointed the reason why the anointing has not come in your life is because you have not pursued it diligently you are pursuing the anointing as if um, have you seen a hungry man looking for food yeah it doesn't say please microwave it uh, sharply i mean somebody that let's say three days fast I, I i don't like food that is cold or it looks like why this rice is looking sticky it's like it has spoiled he will first eat it is when he's done you say ah, but this rice why is it tasting like this because he divorced it that's how you must pursue life everything i do i seek it with see that's why i'm hardly committed in many things because i have a contagious level of commitment I'm not committed in many things in my life but when i commit to things i stay there i stay there i'm committed to the assignment that god has given me even if i come for koinonia and i find only two people i will feel bad i will go for a retreat and ask what happened but it will never make me just get up and say talk lord that's it um let me just dust my form and go and look for pilgrims uh, what do you call it a trip to Jerusalem to just go there and be like many Nigerians and never come back just dodge and run away or let me go and look for green card and relocate to America no Kai you must have the spirit of a fighter many of us don't know how to fight we are too weak to succeed you must have the audacity of winners is God speaking to us tonight? Please, you are not the first to fail. You are not the first to try. You want to build a house, you have only five naira. You will sit down there and die not building that house. If you really want to, you will build it. Say after me, I have the spirit of a winner. Say it. Say I have a determination of a winner. Say in the name of Jesus. I will weary failure until I succeed. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I will weary failure until I succeed. I remember one of our great ones, Mazi Prosper, is his wedding in I think a week or two from now. And he returned from the States and came to my place and he was thanking me. We were talking. I met Mazi Prosper in 2004 when he started his comedy. The truth is he wasn't very funny 
when he started all those things sometimes you just laugh it's more of his face that makes you laugh than the joke are we together now and so i said kai this guy but i encouraged him there were times when he would send me a text and say ah, what happened somebody promised him that they would give him a show and then they would later push him back for another person and he should continue i told him keep on keep improving yourself see let me tell you brothers and sisters it's okay for people to laugh at you it's not unusual let them laugh because they'll be the ones to defend you tomorrow they can't say you jump the process because they'll say i laughed at him even me i thought he would fail let them laugh at you are we together they saw when you started the business they saw when you started the saloon they saw when they came and locked the shop because you could not pay rent they even helped you to pack your things out of the shop with the embarrassment continue in the midst of that tears go back and study find out who is the best hairstylist what are their secrets labor and pay the price to get knowledge when you have the leading saloon in any place people will say i said i said it even those who criticize you i knew he would be successful oh brothers and sisters is great to conquer challenges the other side of pain is sweet i tell you this from experience the other side of pain is delightsome a woman carries pregnancy spitting all around looking as if she would die but when the child comes people come to visit her and they bring gifts and she looks at a new baby and she's blessed learn this the other side of pain is glory unlimited If you think it's costly to be successful let's consider the alternative are you ready to consider the alternative failure all the way pain all the way broken down and spread through your lifetime it's better for me to take 10 years of my life and pay the price and live the remaining part of my life making a mark for the kingdom than living in denial and living in fear and living in lies for 70 years of my life and in my old age, I find out that the prophecy of those who hate me have become self-fulfilling. Be determined. Go for knowledge. Unembarrassingly go for knowledge. See, seeking wisdom will sting your ego. Settle it before the time. Someone came today and met me with a proposal. The first time he sent me a text for the proposal, I didn't even reply him. I just left him. Not intentionally, really. Probably I didn't pay attention to what he was saying. And then he sent it again. And then he sent it again. We returned back from a trip yesterday. He sent another text for me. And then I was talking to a few people this morning. And then he called me. And I said, this guy is serious. I told him, come. When he came, I wasn't concerned about the proposal. I collected it. Look at what he had to it was something about his company he needed advice and i dropped it and i said you are a smart person let me add value to you and i told him sit down i began to share with him a few things i've learned and he was amazed i gave him a few videos i said this will help you i would never do this to anybody by default even my blood brother if you don't seek it you will never get it please stop trying to help people who do not want your help they will trample on your help I've learned this. Learn it. Never try to help people who are not prepared for it. They will not appreciate it. If you are not thirsty and I bring water, you can carry it and stone it back at me. Are we together? Thank you, Jesus. So pursue knowledge. And number three, live by the truths. Live by the truths. Please. How many people don't tithe? I tell you, I can almost tell you that more than half of the people here are not consistent with tithing. Don't blame God for closed heavens. I can tell you this. I can look at your life and unashamedly tell you the areas where you are not living by the word of God. It's not a lie. I'm being sincere with us. Is that all right? So that we don't come and lie and fall under the anointing and sweep the ground and get up and go back. We are not living by the word. God is my witness. Ask those who are close to me. 
everything God blesses me with before I think of anything the tight God's portion is out I don't practice it I live by it it's a law there's no man who jumps up and continues going up you must come down it's a law are we together now why will you keep punishing yourself by fighting the laws that are older than your existence why fight the laws of god why not come into alignment i have learned the excellency i found myself many times violating the laws of the kingdom and my goodness the experiences have been nasty align yourself with the laws of the kingdom and you will find freedom true freedom they know not the bible says neither will they understand he says they grow up in darkness and the whole earth is out of course wisdom it is wisdom that brought many of us here are we together listen when saul lost his father's when his father's donkey was missing saul and one other person and the servant they were on their way to look for it they tried looking for it by themselves and they had to acknowledge and say look every knowledge we know as far as recovery is concerned we have exhausted it he said see let us take another alternative that's what brought many of us here there are many people who will not humble themselves to say see i have tried this situation i don't know whether it's demonic or is my own but at least let me go to an atmosphere where i can find explanation if you do this you are wise are we together if you do this you are wise and they said there is a man of god let's go and meet him even if we are wrong let us find somebody who can tell us we are wrong notice everybody who met a man of god to solve their problem the man did more than what they, are, they came for he trivialized their problem look at naman his breakthrough was only seven baths away yet he lived his lifetime suffering i have learned by experience that breakthrough is not difficult it is access to the platform for the breakthrough that is hard but the day you find a place of breakthrough brothers and sisters in 24 hours your captivity of decades can come to an end. The price is not to get breakthrough. The price is to go to the atmosphere where breakthrough is a possibility. That's your price. Is God speaking to us? They went to Samuel. The major issue was the issue of restoration. But when they went to Samuel, listen, all that Samuel told them was, is it not the donkey? It's been found, please. There are more important issues. Can you imagine? To them, that was the big deal. Let's look for our father's donkey. But Samuel said, leave the issue of donkey. I speak, oh yeah, it's been found. Look at Naaman. When Naaman went to go and meet Elisha, what did he say? Go and bath. It didn't even come out. Just go and take your bath seven times. Ah, he went to take his bath and that was the end of it. Brothers and sisters, tonight, many of you are face to face with realities that can wipe your tears of decades. But it is for you to recognize. Your own part has been done by coming to the atmosphere. Now step back and allow God to step in. You see that? Your own part. There are few prophets that I've met in my life, true prophets. One day I met a man of God, a true prophet of God. And I was explaining a few things to him, areas of confusion here in my life. Do you know that before I would talk to this man, he looked at me and smiled. He said, did God not show you what you are going through now? Ah. And I just looked at the man. He said, you are pretending as if God did not show you. But did he not show you the other side too? See that? Yeah. Go and take the yellow book among your books. Read it now. Page 70. That's where God gave you the prophetic word. That's, he said, please, this issue is not the issue we are discussing. Let's discuss the next level of ministry. How is Koinonia doing? This is a prophet speaking to me. Ah. How about the dream you had of the next level? 
this is what we're discussing. I went for something else. I'm hearing something else. That's the character of a true man of God. Some of you now have carried the problem, my rent, to oh God. And God is saying, not rent. I'm going to give you an anointing to start up a business. You came, for, how much is rent? 250. I know it's a mountain to you. But don't joke with God. Once you are in that atmosphere, expect him to do more. Expect him to do more. Hallelujah. There is one requirement from you tonight. That requirement is to accept that you need help. That's the last thing I would require from you. If you can accept before God and say, Lord, I've tried everything I know to do. I know that this thing is not as hard as it is, but I submit myself to your wisdom. You have changed the lives of people within 24 hours. You have brought restoration and healing and hope for people. Brothers and sisters, that sickness can leave that it has stayed 20 years does not mean that's how to stay. You can choose to hear this word from God and argue it and just say, well, nice preaching. Your problem only affects you. I hope you know. But you can tremble at his word and say, this is the key. One prayer that God will never reject is the cry of mercy from a man who needs his help when a man comes to the end of his life i have come to the end of myself i have come to the end of myself i have come to the end of myself when you come to that point and you say lord you spoke to me that i'm going to be a kingdom financier I'm short of ideas. I've come to the end of my life. Lord, I need direction. I don't know whether it's job now or marriage. I don't know whether it's Zaria now or, or, or I'm going to London or I'm going to Calabar or I'm staying in, 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 in Kogi State. I need direction. You will never, never receive direction and help from God by default. Jesus Christ saw blind Bartimaeus. He passed him as if he didn't see him. Blind Bartimaeus said, Thou son of David. I'm sure people said, keep, keep, keep quiet. The guy cried the more. He said, wicked people, you have eyes. I'm, I'm, I'm blind. Tonight, you may be going through all kinds of things. Brothers and sisters, the power of God is available. You have taken the first right step to come to the atmosphere. The second step, is surrender you must receive his help because you can reject it you can reject the help of god before we begin to pray papa adeboye shared a story and talked about a man who was on a wheelchair and that man was on a wheelchair and people kept giving the man money he became rich because every time people would give him money. And then one time during a program, Papa Deboe looked at him and he was moved with compassion by the Holy Spirit. And he was going to pray for him. And he, he was led to ask him, do you want to be well? The man said no. He looked at him, ha, ah, be well? Why should I stand up when my life has changed on this chain? And truly the man told him, all I want is money. I don't want to be I think eventually the guy got healed and he was angry. That's according to Papa Deboe. He said the guy was angry because he said, now I'll have to work for myself. No excuse again. Take over. Take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over. Take over. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over, I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over. I have touched the end of myself. 
voice and begin to pray say lord i need help mention the areas you need his help if you don't need any help pray for koinonia pray for the ministry lord i need help pray i need help in my marriage pray i need help in my finances I need help in my academics. I need help on my job. Are you praying? Thou son of David, I cry for your mercy. Hallelujah hallelujah second prayer point lord i know it is within your power to help me i ask for your help let your power address my case tonight lift your voice and pray lord i know oh it is within your power to give me a husband it is within your power to give me a wife it is within your power to cause my business to flourish it is within your power to bring restoration it is within your power to give me a child it is within your power to cure HIV it is within your power to deliver me Oh, pray. It will put a new song in your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. We are going to cry for grace. I just showed you your contribution to your failure. You must take responsibility and say, Lord, I take responsibility and I receive grace to make the adjustments. There's nothing embarrassing about it. From all that I've said, you know the area that affects you. Say, Lord, I take responsibility. The part you cannot do for yourself, you will do. But the part that is your responsibility, you must take responsibility. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, we take responsibility in the name of Jesus. We receive fresh determination, fresh persistence, fresh determination, fresh persistence. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we receive the grace to pursue wisdom, to seek wisdom like a jewel. We receive grace to pursue understanding. We receive grace. by the truths that we know we receive grace to be convicted hey, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shortly we are going to begin ministering. We'll be very fast today. I want to see how we can close on time. So we're going straight to the point. Hallelujah. We'll try to do everything very, very fast and see how we can beat time as much as possible. Hallelujah. You're going to prophesy what you want to happen to you by yourself. Are you ready now? Please, I want you to speak it. These are instructions from God. I know you have been praying in your secret place. It's not the same thing you are doing now. Open your mouth and prophesy everything God will do for you. Lift your voice and pray. I walk out of here healed tonight. Come on now. SS, you must leave me tonight. AS, you must leave me tonight. Confusion must end in my life tonight. That idea that I need for my business, that idea that I need for promotion, that restoration, I refuse to walk out of this place without that restoration, that mantle. That renewed spiritual life that clarity that prophetic word oh yes 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 pray pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray that every spirit from darkness that has held your life, pray that you must be delivered this night. Every spirit tying your family, every spirit tying your progress, pray. Enough is enough. He must live my life. Lord, I must be delivered today. Hallelujah. 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 In recent time, I have seen tremendous increase of the anointing of the spirit upon my life especially in the area of healing and deliverance i have seen this all my life but i have seen a multiplication of this grace brothers and sisters whatever your challenge is believe me there is an enough anointing to wipe your tears if only you will believe don't be part of those who have come to waste their time. There are people standing outside just staring at others. Forget about them and be focused. You know what you are going through. Miracle service is not, it's not a marriage ceremony. It's not an album dedication. You don't come and just watch and smile. You come with anger in your heart and say, Lord, I, I won't go back that way. Who told you SS cannot be healed? Who told you AS cannot change? Who told you the, the biological problem cannot go? Who told you you cannot get breakthrough? Lord Jesus, we thank you. We release this atmosphere to you and your power. Lord, I know that you will do amazing things even in this place. We trust you for a quick walk. There are lives, there are destinies that need to be changed. Lord, there are people under all kinds of the influence of strange spirits that have tied their lives let not one of them escape the power of the holy spirit there are sick bodies that need to be healed oh god let not one of them escape the healing power of god there are families that have come with burdens lord i pray your people have come with prayer requests impossible situations but they believe in you so lord we give you praise
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, while the ministration continues, please, if you have not written your prayer requests, make sure that you write them. It's important. It's not a religious formality. It's a revelation that God gave us. Hallelujah. During the dinner, those of us who are workers will have the opportunity probably to experience the testimonies that have come as a result of answered prayers. So in one minute, just write your prayer request very quickly so that when we start, please, if you are yet to write, let's just give them an opportunity. Please help one another with um, papers. You can feel free to put on your phone, contact your loved ones and tell them to send in their prayer request if it's possible. There are many who have sent their own hundreds online. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please make sure you write everything. Write everything you are trusting God to do in your life. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. 
Aleluia Aleluia It's a very simple song Lift your voice and sing it to your maker Ah I look at this lady and I see a spirit, a very serious spirit. Hold my hands. The Lord will deliver you huh? from that spirit. Because this is something that wants to destroy your life. Is your sister here? Where's her sister? Is her sister here? Is she here? I need to pray for both of you because I'm seeing an attack coming to your family. There is a spirit that I saw, and this is something that has to do with somebody dying. Hallelujah. Who is here? Where is she? Please, let's save time um, very quickly so that we can. We have to pray. I'm seeing death in your family. This is somebody's obituary God wants to avert. You can help her hold her baby if she won't cry. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. But you specifically, there is a spirit that torments you. I need to pray for you. Leading you into things that you do not want to do. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Not, not Pastor Femi. Femi. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Femi, who is Femi? Please, if, if I call your case, please just save our time and come quickly. Femi. Your name is Femi? Who is a visitor? You are the one. From where? Come. From where? Jigawa. Eh? Jigawa. From Jigawa State. Yes. You came from Jigawa State. Yes, sir. The Lord is going to set you on fire and yes, take sir. you back there. You didn't just come yes, sir. just for a meeting. I know you just yes, thought sir. you came to receive. I'll call you several times. Sir. Eh? I'll call your number several times. Not be picking. <laughs> you will receive that which you desire. Praise the Lord. Yes. My brother, I'm going to pray for you. Victoria. Victoria. I hear a name Victoria. This is Victoria. Let me just respond to Victoria. Victoria. There is a Victoria trusting God for a change of genotype. Genotype. You're trusting God for a change of genotype. I don't know if it has to do with um, S S A S. Anyone like that? This is a Victoria I see. I want to minister to a Victoria that is trusting God for a change of genotype. We have to frustrate. Come. We have to frustrate the power stopping your marriage. Look at me. You have to frustrate the power that is stopping your marriage huh? because it's God's desire for you to settle down soonest you understand this is this is the devil is not going to lord it over you we are going to pray please I want you to believe I don't have to call your case I'm just flowing because the Holy Spirit is impressing it strongly upon me and then we'll just get into prayer praise the Lord hallelujah 
father visit this family in the name of the lord jesus christ where is your mother who is sick who is sick in your family my mom because i'm seeing that ah we have to pray i have we have to pray hmm? this is december your mother will just sleep and they will tell you i'm not a prophet of doom they will tell you that she's dead she has been talking about death we have to rebuke this thing she has been seeing dead people in her dream she sleeps and she sees dead people and they will be stretching their hands towards her and asking her to hold them some of them are people who have died before see there are families here with those things but we are going to deal with it praise the lord father in the name of jesus christ i pray for this family that spirit of death over the family in the name of jesus we roll it away we roll it away by the power of the holy spirit and for you i curse this spirit that is in you in the name of jesus when the time for deliverance comes the lord is going to set you free completely in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you your hands are blessed listen your hands are blessed god expects you to use your hands to bring wealth to yourself your hands are blessed the lord is saying i should tell you that these hands are blessed hands are you getting what i'm saying you have to pray and trust god for ideas the things that you can do with your hands and he will bless you in the name of the lord jesus christ new level come there is still a time for impartation so you receive it but two things god is giving you number one god is giving you wisdom number two god is giving you stability huh i see you but i see like a wind you are here and there god needs to give you stability father you will give him stability in the name of jesus come my dear i pray for you you will marry a foolish man say amen i curse every spirit delaying her marriage now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke that spirit come I have to pray for you hold my hands lord she must be free today today is her day of liberty in the name of jesus christ i rebuke this spirit you must leave her i see you in the spirit out of her right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ my dear do you love jesus very well huh Please, he wants you to take him very seriously. Okay? Where are you from, my dear? Benway State. Benway State. Is, who is here with you? My brother. Your brother. Where is he? Love. Brother, please, can you come? I want to speak to him just before we start the ministry. What's his name? Joseph, huh? Joseph Okotu. Joseph, where are you? I hear the Lord saying he's bringing restoration to your family. That's why I want to pray for you. We are going to pray. The Lord is saying I should tell you he will give you beauty for ashes. Huh? You may not understand the meaning of what I'm saying. But as the days unfold you will see God honor you. Father let there be restoration for this family. You are going to be a great man of God. Great man of God. God is going to put a teaching anointing upon you. Supernatural grace for teaching. Supernatural grace for teaching. Father, step into this family and do miracles in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice in one minute. Let's begin to pray in tongues. Shiva Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Shabra Thank you, Father. Because the oppressed will be delivered by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I want to begin to minister. Deliverance is very important. Very, very important. It's the platform that separates you from the spirits and the influences. You see, sometimes some of you do not even know that your lives are under um, certain levels of 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 bondage but then you will need the grace of God you will need the wisdom of God you will need his grace to give you direction 
and I'm going to pray for you right now my goodness the power of God is strong in this place so many people inside and outside it will surprise some of you because you do not even know now listen this deliverance is not just for individuals in fact God is going to start with families that's what I see God doing hallelujah praise the Lord you've heard this happen again and again I don't know why God does this but a lady is going to shout under the anointing and this is what will introduce that grace a loud shout by the spirit of the living God lift your hands father thank you for your power and your presence in this place right now in the name of Jesus at the count of three I want everyone to shout Jesus from the depth of your heart I challenge every spirit I challenge every voice and every altar oh God that has kept your people bound that has kept families bound there's no place for escape for you tonight Lord I pray that in a mighty way as your people begin to shout you visit them my goodness the power of God is already coming on people at the count of three one two get ready now get ready three fire upon you right now deliverance fire in the name of Jesus receive it receive it help them please help those people right now in the name of Jesus inside and outside I release the power of the Holy Spirit the power of the Holy Spirit right now right now right now right now right now I see the power of God along this region right here where the ministers are staying I see the power of God right now I cast that spirit I challenge every power every fraternity from hell that keeps people bound in the name of Jesus hallelujah lift your hands those outside alone those inside you can relax those outside at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus there are people who are tied to covenants I hear covenants in the spirit people tied to covenants as you shout that name it's like a wind that will blow outside and the power of God will begin to set people free are you ready now at the count of three one two three in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ we release deliverance outside we release mighty deliverance now lift your hands you don't have to shout just keep it lifted hallelujah I'm going to begin to speak and prophesy and for all those who are affected the power of God will begin to touch them bring them out here in the name of Jesus lift your hands now I pray every family here under any spell every family Lord where are they right now let the power of God touch them touch them now 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 right now in the congregation every family under any kind of spell I bring deliverance right now I bring deliverance right now in the mighty name of Jesus I bring deliverance help that lady I bring deliverance right now right now keep your hands lifted right now father identify families that have suffered every cause right now in the name of Jesus all over the congregation inside and outside hallelujah keep your hands lifted no instruments just keep your hands lifted I'm going to pray I see fire rolling in the realm of the spirit now that fire listen that fire is going to come upon individuals I'm hearing stagnation that's what I'm hearing please keep your hands lifted inside and outside Lord wherever those people are get set right now as I speak the fire will burst and begin to touch people stagnation wherever they are shake it, 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 it. begin to touch them right now by that fire receive it right now right now right now right now 
right now all over the building in the name of jesus christ that spirit of stagnation that has been responsible i see some people being touched outside i see people being touched outside hallelujah this row lift your hands just this row lift your hands the lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you the moment i stretch my hands the power of god will move in dramatic ways and i'm hearing in my spirit breakthrough that's what is coming please make sure you believe at the count of three i want you to shout jesus it will be a mighty move of the spirit lord i do as you have instructed and at the count of three let there be breakthroughs one two three help them please we command it in the name of jesus bring them out lift your voice and begin to pray every force that has tied down my life you must leave me right now pray as some of you are praying the power of god will be touching you every spirit that is responsible Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Only the ladies. I want to pray for you. Only the ladies. A woman represents a gate in the spirit. And there are many ladies. Whose gates are tied and closed. But the Bible says to open up the two leaf gates. It will surprise you what will happen to many of you right now. Please keep your hands lifted. Father, I pray in a mighty way. Let every lady's destiny that has been closed at the count of three as they shout Jesus, let those gates be open. Get set now, ladies. One, two, three. Open now. Open now. Open now. Shake it, it, it up my goodness i see padlocks opening that's what i'm seeing in the spirit open up those gates in the name of jesus open up those gates open up those gates now open up those gates now open up those gates now in the name of jesus hallelujah listen lift your voice and violently pray in one minute and command that spirit to leave you go ahead and pray please by the power of the holy spirit you must leave my family just keep praying it's a new season by the anointing of the Holy Ghost every unclean spirit attaching itself to our lives hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord who came with this woman I'm seeing a spirit tying this woman watch this who came with mama out of her hold my hands mama listen she can't walk hold on mommy this woman cannot walk well you see this who don't worry Mom. stroke look at this how many of you believe god can do a miracle for this woman i command the spirit 
right now that spirit leave this woman right now in the name of Jesus she doesn't hear very well too in the name of Jesus I command the ears to be open mommy look at me lift your leg just carry it lift your leg carry it come come walk come 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 look at this walk by yourself come come look at this look at this look at this give Jesus praise give Jesus praise hallelujah listen she doesn't hear very well mama Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Come, Mama. Look at this. You know that this is a spirit that has tied this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, we end captivity. Stretch your hands and pray that the Lord will perfect everything that concerns her. This is somebody's mother. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah mama this mama come your time of breakthrough has come hold on look at what's wrong with you my leg cannot open your leg cannot this open leg, uh, this leg uh, how long 20 something years 20 how many years uh, who knows her years. you know you are their son come now you come and stand close to your mother how many years more than 20 years where are you from we are from sabongari mama you believe jesus will touch yes, you yes sir i tell you there is nothing jesus cannot do yes, there is sir. the anointing you believe it yes sir say jesus jesus heal me heal me say jesus jesus heal me heal me father you died for this reason right now in the name of jesus christ let there be healing right now look at what is happening to her in the name of Jesus mama hold my hands walk come 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 try to climb now lift your leg try to lift it it didn't used to open before oh I see okay okay go ahead in the name of Jesus Christ lift it and do what you could not do just do it do it open the other one in the name of Jesus God is already giving you a miracle by the power of the Holy Spirit can you see a miracle happening she could not open the leg completely could not open it in the name of Jesus Christ look at look at this God is giving this woman a eh? before she said she, she could not stand for five minutes I cannot stand for five minutes. But right now, God is touching you. Your back will be paining you. In the name of Jesus Christ, this perfection has started. That back ache, I lay my hands and I release the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, just keep under the anointing. She will stand up and check herself. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another mother. I don't know why God is visiting our mothers right now. I'm seeing, Mama, please come. Can I talk to you, Ma? Somebody help that woman. Please don't. If we talk to you speak whatever language you can speak there will always be somebody to interpret it it doesn't have to be that you must speak English whose, whose mother is this eh? well done mommy what's what's the issue what brought her here she has been complaining of different illness mama what's wrong with you I got a BP I got a BP this 20 day my belly they move like this as I'm looking at our mother mama as I look at you I'm seeing something like a snake all around your stomach that thing starts moving is that and then it comes towards your chest area then sometimes you feel pain at your back here that devil will leave you right now in the name of Jesus Christ you believe in Jesus I'm going to pray that God will use this lady because I looked at her and I just saw a dove rise from her. You, what's your name? Faith. 
faith yes sir you will be a woman of faith you believe that let me pray for you father anoint this lady let your power come upon her in the name of jesus christ i pray that god will use you mightily mama let's pray for you lay your hands on your chest please in the name of jesus christ god is healing you right now high blood pressure high blood pressure and every other sickness i rebuke it right now and i command the spirit that oppresses you to live in the name of jesus christ by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now listen if you know you are involved in anything whether maybe you have a shop you are in business and nothing is working just lift your hands i want to pray for those people right now that's what the holy spirit is telling me please believe Why is she out? Come, you're a mother. We can't keep you standing there. Let me just attend to her. Please, you don't have to come out. We'll attend to you. Whose mother is this? My son is outside. Your son? Okay, what's, Paul, what can Paul, we do for you? Paul. I'm weak from here downwards. You are weak from? Um, my waist downwards. Downwards. What? You can walk. It's just that the pain is there. The pain, I used to feel pain. I can't see it for long. Yes, I lie down. I can't stand for long. Okay, Mama, just clear the way. Let Mama, you are her son. You are welcome. Let her just sit down there. We will soon pray for the sick. When it's time, you just bring her there so that you can hurry up. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, you don't have to come out. We are going to, listen, listen. We are going to pray. We will invite people to come out now. We are, I'm going to pray for the sick. I will lay hands on all of you. Praise the Lord. So that we can just hurry up. If we do it one by one like this, we may not have all the time. Um, but why, why is she coming away? Uh, my problem is one year. I'm eating in the dream. You are eating the dream? Yes. Food, you mean? One year now. For one year, non stop? Last month, on today's 15 days, my stomach, my back, in the pain. I cannot be sleep. I cannot be eat. Uh, last week, uh, Friday, I enter hospital. They give me medicine. I don't take all the medicine. Never stop. Well, we'll pray. Jesus Christ will set you free. In the name of Jesus. Mama, you two, just go and sit down there. Please, no, our mothers, don't worry. When we start praying for the sick, this is what we'll do. We may give room so that we we'll start with some of our elderly ones so that they can go back. They may not have that strength. Will that be fine? So as you line up, if you see any elderly man or woman, you can just push them forward so that we minister to them and then they can go and sit down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But lift your hands now. I want to release breakthrough. I mean, I, I mentioned the case right now. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him I will sing to him a new song I will praise him I will sing to him a new song and I will praise him I will sing to him a new song I will praise him I will sing to him a new song And I will praise him I will sing to him a new song Every force Kabbalah Tabarada Keep your hands lifted That has tied down your business All the works of your hands Some of you will feel fire on your hand Literal fire It will start burning on your hands right now in the name that is above all names i pray as that fire comes on your hand ideas begin to come to you receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus receive it now in the name of jesus it's already happening to people right now it's happening to people the fire is coming on people help this brother please the fire is coming on people right now your hands ideas ideas 
this fire represents ideas receive it right now receive it right now in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah praise the Lord now as we pray for the sick I know there are many people here who are sick please be orderly as you come while that is happening every prayer request please pass it over to the ushers you have your prayer request you can use the time to call some of your loved ones by the way when we begin to prophesy for some of you who have your loved ones at home you can put on the phone and connect with them honestly if they have the faith to receive and they believe they'll be surprised at what happens to them you are trusting god for a healing miracle make your way to the front now and begin to pray there is a god that heals here yeah. yes mama please don't cry can you get a handkerchief please help our mother with this handkerchief Please make your way to the front. It's called a miracle service. Look how many people are trusting God for healing. Forward all the elderly ones to the front. Please, all our elderly ones. Looked around and I realized that you've been so good to me. standing here can we begin to talk to the Lord and say father please who am I that you are mindful of me who am I that you hear my cry when I call you how can I love you more know you more Source of my strength, now you, the strength of my life, my hope and my joy, my confidence, now you, you're the source of my life, the strength of my life, my hope and my joy, my confidence. show you look at this oh my god put the camera here look at this can you see this person bring the person here look at this this is death already look at this i think you can can they see it on camera look at this you know that this is this is this is already this is an obituary who is her mother this is her mother crying who is her mother? Why did the mother stay outside now and bring the... Oh, she went to bring Matt. They brought the girl on his... What's wrong with her? She has been sick for over six months now, but they have been not... They have not able to be... No diagnosis. You will look at her and think it's HIV. Brothers and sisters, hear me. When a spirit enters a man, it leaves out his character through that person. Okay, let's, let's hear from the mother, please. What language can she speak? Kurama. Who is Kurama here? Huh? You are, please. Don't, can she speak Hausa? Mama Ki Hausa? Rabu Da Suki Hausa? We will never put pressure on anybody. If she can't speak Hausa, she'll speak her language. 
um, what is wrong with her? What's the issue with the baby? Uh -huh. One of the two um, cancer. Cancer. Uh -huh. Eight. Eight. Uh -huh. Cancer. The eight took her. And Basr. The man. Basr. What's that? Uh -huh. Pile cancer HIV. Uh -huh. Look at this. Uh -huh. Tell her she brought she brought her expecting. No, 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 don't worry. Don't worry. Tell her she came expecting Jesus to touch her. Jesus oh, Kina. Kana Osa. So say. Kede in Ali. Kasuna. Kede in Kasina she never hear Osa. But is that not your language? <laughs> Mama Kerkita, we are going to pray for her now. Oh, we are going to pray for her. Just clear the way. Can she hear? Kana Ji. Eh. How old is she? Help her. She, she. You would think this girl is, is 10 years. She's 30 years. 30 solid years. Supposed to be married, right? With her children. She's married with two children. Oh my God. Ah, Mama? Okay. This is cancer, HIV, at a terminal state. The source of my strength, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy, now you. Hey, my confidence, now you. Source of my life, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My hope and my joy. My dear, can you speak English? Can you speak English? No, don't worry. Can you hear me? You can hear me. You believe Jesus can touch you? Do you believe that? Don't cry. Don't cry. Jesus is able to touch you. Father, show this lady mercy. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil by the blood of Jesus Christ I command that spirit of infirmity that devil of HIV that devil of cancer I command him to leave her in the name of Jesus Christ I will ask you people to help her get up eventually my dear look at me look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I release strength to you strength to you strength to you try to move your hands or your leg go ahead try to move your hand or your leg if you can do you have enough strength for that can she hear me she's so weak she can't even hear me it's well just leave her to lie down with the glory here as I pray for other people I mean she's so weak she cannot even hear me God, the devil is wicked listen I assure you that whatever it is What's that? Okay, the request. Don't worry. We'll pray for you. Hallelujah. Just leave her to soak in the glory here while she gets some strength and try to lift her up and see what happens. Father, I pray for everyone here. Let the power of God touch them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone came. Please be patient. You don't have to rush. The Lord himself will touch you. You came for a reason. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to tell me what is wrong with you. If I ask you, you can tell me, but it doesn't matter. The spirit of death is on this woman. But Mama, look at me. Come, please. What's wrong with her? I brought myself. You brought yourself. Yes. What's wrong with you, madam? Now, since uh, where would they for Abuja? Now, in the bubble, where the bomb will blow. So what? I'm I'm selling something for Nyanya. Yeah. I'm selling food with yeah. you. Where bomb will blow for that side? Bomb. Uh, oh, uh, bomb blast. Yes, I now fall down. I know I cannot get out. They're carrying me to hospital. Oh, the bomb blast that happened in Nyanya. Yes. 
So, it affected you. Uh, so I can't get up. They carry me go hospital. So, uh, I spent four months go no go. They carry me go flying place. He collected uh, fifty thousand. Go no they go. They carried you go where? Uh, flying man. May go treat me. Say hospital no fit you. A doctor. Oh, how about this? Eh. Uh, okay. Flying man. It's okay. The flying man collected fifty thousand. You know, I've said it again. Please hear me. Listen, let me let me press it down. Any man, I don't care who, who tells you to bring money to get a miracle, even if it's me, run away. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mama, our mothers, I'm begging you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any man, any priest, any prophet, any pastor, any apostle, any human being, herbalist, whoever that asks you to give him money so that you give him miracle. Tell him, Joshua Selman said he's a thief. He's not a man of God. Are we together? And now we start the cure the thief. The, if you give me medicine, I drink, I will bring bad, bad dream in the night. So, then like that, four months, go and no go. The man now time to bring 30,000 again. I said, I know even see food. That should bring 30,000 again. Uh, I know see food to to my children again now. And now start the bed, the man, no grief. That man, me, I'm a girl for... Mommy, what, what? Now I can't say, I can't say my room here. Come and say, come and I work out for player to player. But I the not player for you. When they say, I come, I know they, I know they come. I will just lie down, they feel pain every time. Do you know that there are spirits that stop men from going to the place of their breakthrough? Have you seen people that you try to bring for koinonia? On your way going, they just change their mind. It's not them. There is a spirit. I tell you that you make your way here alone is a sign that God is ready to visit you. Okay, what 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 exactly? I must enter today. I must enter as I just uh, come out for road. The so, machine just come. He said, Where the grass and at this church? He says, Oh, make a go, make a go in offer. Welcome, the usher people. So, where well, they go, they go to my I said, I know if you these people can serve God, then they carry me from machine down. They hold my hand. God Sorry, bless our me. ushers. I sit down. When I sit down, finish. They come, they advise me, say, make I no hurry to enter. So, and now when they start the play, I enter through gate. That I just stand up with my, with my Now this hand, they just stand. Because all this side, you know. And now softly stand up. Uh. Stand. God, come give me a condemnation. Strength. My power. What, my what power. part of your body is not working very well? Yes. Now? What part? Yes, I go so. Oh, your. Oh, I see. Father, it's, it's okay, madam. Ma Mama, uh, we, we get what is wrong with you now, eh? In Jesus' name, we'll pray for you. If... She couldn't walk, oh. There is a spirit at work in you. That spirit will leave you now. I command that devil, leave her. You think it's bomb blast. But, oh, she could not walk, oh. They had to carry her, and now she's even standing. That's even a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, look at me. Hold my hands. I minister strength to you. Look at me. Come. Come. Help her. Jesus. Walk. I will hold you. Walk. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Start walking by yourself. Come. Came on a bike. Could not walk. Come. Slowly. Just take it slowly. Look at this. You can see that it's happening gradually. Gradually. These hands were paralyzed. Madam, look at me. Try to lift it up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lift it. Lift it. Lift it. Look at this. Lift it. Lift it. Drop it down. Lift it again. Lift it again. Completely paralyzed. Completely paralyzed. Look at. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. A miracle is happening. Do what you couldn't do. The devil is a liar. The more you take that step of faith, the more you see God stepping in. Father, this miracle is perfected in her body in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Just keep exercising her. We'll have to pray. Please, any special case, we'll minister it. Our time is gone. I saw the spirit of death. She was supposed to die in that bomb blast. I didn't even know it was Nyanya bomb blast. That Boko Haram bomb blast. May you never be a victim of any man's wickedness. In the name of Jesus Christ.
the moment i pray for you please as you return back check yourself and do what you couldn't do before if it's a striking striking testimony we'll just take it here worship team lead us through sessions of worship as we pray in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus short of blood I look at you sir and your face has changed to the face of a cat this is what licks your blood this is what I'm seeing this is demonic you understand what I'm saying there was a time you had a dream and a dog was following you dog dog was pursuing you and I need to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death in the name of Jesus Christ I command that spirit that devil of darkness to live Please stand in and connect for your loved ones. We have so many people. Let's see how far we can. stretch your hands at this baby and let's close this hole in the name of Jesus you will have a child make sure you are praying one month two weeks a hole in his heart if God does not step in this baby will either die or something will happen I tell you we are the church of the Lord Jesus Christ we can agree father we reject this we reject this as you are rejecting it for this child so it will be your life reject it lord your church is praying we change this report baby we speak to you baby you will not die you will not die you will not die we close this hole hallelujah 
go and check him don't cry don't cry eh? you are not going to lose your baby in the name of Jesus Christ amen we are going to pray it's going to be very very fast as I lay my hands on you just it's just a touch there is a reason why I'm doing this myself and I lay hands on you just a touch the Lord is wiping your tears the Lord is wiping your tears and not just because you are crying physically this woman is coming with so much pains the Lord is wiping your tears now in the name of Jesus out of her that demon that causes pain in the name of Jesus Christ
and cause that spirit. You must let her go now. Because in your submit a prayer request ushers you can begin to bring the prayer request forward please everybody inside and outside make sure you don't miss this next session because that's where you get to receive your personal breakthrough so please forward the prayer request if you still have yours just lift it up and an usher will come to you quickly please guys let's do this very fast so that we can finish as hands have been laid on you i just want you to believe that god is touching you
This is, this is, it's not a religious activity. It's an instruction that God gave us. Because you see, no matter how I lay hands on everybody one by one, we may not have all the time for everybody to state what their needs are. But then let me tell you something. The truth about it is that I'm not the most important person in this meeting. There is one who is mightier than I. You didn't write this request to Joshua Selma, and I will not even read one of them. This is unto the God who can solve problems. Mommy, please come. Yes. I've been looking at this woman, and I've been wondering what it is that God, what would you want God to do for you? To give me a quality spouse. To give you a quality spouse. 
this is what I'm looking at this woman and my heart had been drawn to her for a while madam you want to get married because you are not afraid and ashamed to say this in the presence of the people look at me I stake my reputation on this prophecy that I will give you you hear me if a man does not come to marry you go and publish it in the newspaper that I lied you believe what I'm saying I will not implicate myself and be a fool like this because as soon as I looked at you you said spouse I saw a man putting a ring in your hand that's why I'm telling you what I'm saying you believe this be sure to return and give the testimony and everybody be sure to look at her you are seeing her today when she comes back with her husband so you don't say that this is stage managed father in the name of Jesus I prophesy it by the power of the Holy Spirit okay just cover her I'm going to pray let me have okay it's props water I wish there's any other one just to pray on it and then they'll give her she's too weak we can't even test her whether or not but I see her moving her legs and moving all of this this is ordinary okay this is ordinary water we'll just pray on it since that's the only thing she can a child she but a child she say me Father, I pray that this water will lose its earthly significance and take on a heavenly significance. That as she takes this, oh God, let this be um, a cleansing agent. Let it be like a drug in her body. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can she hear you? Ask her how she's feeling now. I'm sorry, I forget this thing. So I'm like, yeah, I'll take a chance. You see, she's gaining some strength. She couldn't move before, but we see her gaining some strength. Uncle, you don't. Can you see her gaining some strength? She's even moving. She's pushing her away. Same issue. Something is happening to her. Look at this. Are you seeing? Look at this. Look at this. By herself. Oh. This is the power of the Lord. This in itself is a miracle. If you saw the way they brought her. Mama. Brother, the Holy Spirit is doing something in her life. My dear, as God grants you grace, you can just be moving your body gradually. We prayed on this. And um, Mama Gashi, Abata, Bakuabane Zesha, Kramata Dua, Kramata Dua, Kramata Dua, If you keep it there, all these children will come and take you. Stretch your hands on this prayer request as we pray. Let's pray on this request. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands and let's ask the Lord to visit us. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. Father, we are praying right now in the name of Jesus. We are praying by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let there be a miracle. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. I'm seeing the Lord giving people miracles of jobs. Jobs. I see employment of jobs. I see a family that dropped a request here something about building a house and it looks like you will not complete it the Lord is saying before December 25th you will enter that house please pray father visit me talk to the Lord tell him your request is here
Let there be miracles, oh God. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. request here to a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ requests of marriages may they be granted some of you have dropped requests here because the admission list came out and you did not see your name Lord we agree I don't know how you would do it but we agree that there be miracles In the name of Jesus. Lord, we release breakthroughs. We release all kinds of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands as I prophesy. Everyone. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy. I know that for many of you if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you you would prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please I want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything shout amen this is where the fire gets to fall on your life this is where everybody participates in the name of jesus christ I command breakthroughs to come into your life. Supernatural breakthrough. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please lay your hands on your head, I pray. Father, mm, this will come mighty on some of you. A baptism of the spirit of wisdom. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now, now. Wisdom, help him please. Wisdom in the name of Jesus. Supernatural wisdom. Understanding. Receive the impartation. Wisdom in business. Wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here trusting God for direction in the name of Jesus may the force of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do I speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of Jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you? 
wherever they are everybody in life needs a helper to move to the next level between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper right now everything that has died in your hands i don't care what it is i'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life anyone trusting god for a job or you are standing in for someone trusting god for a job those hands that are lifted in the name of jesus the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they'll be lifted above joblessness in the name of jesus i release jobs by the power of the holy spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the lord god of israel i command that veil be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus I pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of God receive the strength of God in the name of Jesus Christ between now and next week koinonia I pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually I command a restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of Jesus Christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed we silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus every legal access Satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in Jesus name everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of Jesus Christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go back and be celebrated 
in the name of Jesus listen I prophesy to you you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder I speak it upon your life in the name of Jesus Christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life I pray for your dreams and visions all the ideas God has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insights in the name of Jesus from today I declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting God for restoration I pray for you I don't know what you have lost I command a tenfold restoration hallelujah believe what I'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no I'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of Jesus Christ someone will call you and tell you they have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of Jesus Christ listen some of you will be sitting quietly in your house that's how favor will come and meet you and take you to another level in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I bring to an end every struggle in your life by the anointing of the Holy Spirit I pray for every pastor every leader here grace for the next level those of you who have come from other places take the fire and take it back to your regions take the fire and take it back to your regions in the name of Jesus Christ nothing dies in your hands nothing becomes barren in your hands in the name of Jesus Christ favor on all sides blessings on all sides in the mighty name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now very quickly we're out of time please keep standing everybody there are people here who are saying Lord Jesus I'm committing my life and my all to you please keep standing everybody no movements around there are people inside and outside here you came for this meeting and you have seen what the Lord Jesus Christ has done and you are saying Lord I want to surrender my life I've been living my life the way I want but I want to hand it over to you tonight some of you are giving your life to Christ for the first time some of you are rededicating your life you said I've, I've come out once but something has happened in my life wherever you are in the next one minute I know many people outside those inside please join them come out here and I will lead you to give your life to Jesus Christ wherever you are young old don't sit down wait for anybody koinonia celebrate them make your way to the front don't be embarrassed this is what Jesus can do with your life you've given people who are less than him your life why don't you commit everything I know this is not all there are still people inside and outside please make your way quickly God bless you as you come make your way quickly hallelujah while the rest join them God bless you keep coming quickly please hurry up and join them catch up with them it's a decision that will change your life forever we may not know who you are but we know where you are going because with Jesus your journey is secured you've lived your life anyhow and you're saying I'm tired of playing games with God I want to make it right there is always room for you the throne is where you start from hallelujah praise the Lord Jesus I want you to lift your right hand and say after me Lord Jesus please say it very seriously say Lord Jesus I love you with all my heart I believe in you tonight I surrender my life completely to you take everything about me use me for your glory in the name of Jesus I receive eternal life into my spirit from today I'm not the same person again the power of sin is broken over my life 
in Jesus name father I pray for these ones whose hands are lifted bless them they have made a decision for you they remain in you forever give them a new life in the name of Jesus Christ may the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus now I'd like you to follow the ushers they are waving their hands they'll have your details and they'll welcome you more warmly very quickly madam we're finished praying tap that madam she can follow them hallelujah praise the Lord now all those who are worshiping with us for the first time very quickly one minute make your way to the front we want you to go back with an anointing and with a blessing honor them koinonia they are the result of your prayers our mothers our fathers our brothers and sisters thank you so much thank you so much they are the result of our prayers our commitment we prayed and asked the lord to bring you and bless you look how many people god is bringing come on celebrate jesus hallelujah now very quickly thank you so much sas mass thank you for coming this is koinonia a meeting put together by eternity network international we're here Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salman. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.